Happy Junior. I told y'all I'm coming through with the NSX Honda Racing shirt. That's the NSX on my shirt. Um, some people be like, why are you wearing that? You know, because Hondas are made in America. Half of the car is made in America. I'm supporting my community by supporting Honda. Okay, let me get off the screen because Dr. Sebi Jr. about to change my screen name, y'all. I'm, I'm about to change my name for 2023. If y'all think, and the if the family of Dr. Sebi tell me that he was a pedophile. I know he liked young girls, like 19 and shit like that, 21. You know, but is this a typo or what's going on here? Because I don't know who, they said this is a picture of Victor Bowman. Now, is Victor Bowman scamming y'all using Kelly Bowman's pictures? Because they both look alike? What's going on, y'all? Y'all need to tell the truth. Because I'm going to, before I get into the main topic of this video, I want to let the family of Dr. Sebi know. I don't want to talk to TikTok right now. Who are, what you going, what? Okay, so I want to let the family of Dr. Sebi know, uh, thank you for coming to this video. Um, people called me Dr. Sebi Jr. I did not ask for that name. My name is Zeti. Z-E-T-I. Zeti. No relation to Dr. Sebi whatsoever. I'm a food tester secret shopper who was searching for the food from the Garden of Eden. That was my life mission. Dr. Sebi completed a lot of my work. I don't have the, the money or the time or the connections. I don't know Michael Jackson and all them. I just don't have it. I was able to use technology to time travel. Why are y'all doing a semi-professional? It looks like a professional photo shoot. I thought this is like when you go to the mall and take pictures with your grandma. Maybe I could be wrong, but I thought this was a professional picture. So I was thinking, why isn't the boy's shirt on? Or what kind of shirt do they have on this boy? Would, what kind, that, I don't think that that's Victor Bowman. That's probably Kelly Bowman. And Victor Bowman probably lied to this person. Or they're lying. So I, I'm bringing you, I'm bringing the family of Dr. Sebi here. Like, hey, you ugly. But are you watching closely? I'm exposing these people. Proving that I'm not them. I ain't made no money. I'm broke. Y'all calling me homeless, making fun of me. But I know that y'all, that he used to sleep on the floor. You didn't have no shoes and didn't go to school. I'm about to catch you in all your lies. And then I'm, if you keep playing with me, I'm going to go through every video that you ever done and make a whole TV series about you instead of my other TV show that I'm working on. I got, I mean, I'm, tr I'm not even sleeping like I'm supposed to be sleep. I'm like, dang, editing is very annoying. That's why you pay so much money. You're technically renting <laughs> renting a supercomputer and then you're getting somebody to use it and you don't know how to use it. I'm trying to make it plain for her. Because I know that Kelly Bowman don't really understand what the heck the internet is about. And she keeps making that apparent. And I keep saying, I made the internet what it is today. I didn't get to do everything. I didn't get to really help y'all like I wanted to. They didn't, they just stole my ideas. And I was like, okay, well, if you steal them, you steal, they don't know how to even use the internet. The people that's creating it, they think, the white people think they can eat GMO food. Y'all tell me in the comments whose baby this is. What's going on right here? Now, this person is selling a book and they're selling products now. Is that a scam? Because we're going to get to it, man. My bad. Okay, okay. My bad. I want to. I'm, I'm getting confused. Are these two different people? Or are they connected? They see. They had the same colors. Just YouTube. Hey, I might have glitched. Uh, excuse me, YouTube. 
Um, <sighs> when I say YouTube, I'm not talking to you viewers or the community, and, and partially I am, but I'm actually talking to YouTube, the company, if they watch this video like, hey, I, I'm not sure about what I'm saying here, but this person is selling products, talking about Colon Clan, sea moss, green food, iron fluorine tea, and they have like a book or something. I'm, I'm not going to go all into it because I don't want to promote their book. But they have Brussels sprouts and broccoli here. That stuff ain't healthy. That's not natural. That's jail food. That's slave food. Now, if you in jail, you got to eat it. If you a slave, and you know you a slave, you just and that's all you got, you go ahead. Just don't go out there and sell it and tell somebody it's going to activate your chakras and your kundalini like these people in a traveling circus. I just watched a movie about Satanism, and I just learned that all these celebrities are all connected to this stuff, and it ain't nothing but a traveling circus of sinners who, who just do whatever they want to do. But we see now, if Dr. Sebi did whatever he wanted to do, he might have not been able to become a better person. I really want the family to let me know what is going on with that picture with the little kid on his lap. I know he got a lot of kids, but I think Victor lied, and that's not Victor. Maybe they just didn't have no money for clothes because Dr. Sebi was a crackhead because he didn't go to school. I don't know what happened. Y'all tell me, family. And I'm talking to the family of Dr. Sebi. Go get them. Tell them to sit down. Watch this video. Dr. Sebi Jr. is doing a video just for you. So you can understand that you are chasing your own tail. You are running around in circles. You're trying to get the uh, million dollars or whatever it is, the Bentley, the Maybach. And I got you. That's your boy, Mr. G. I just want y'all to remember he didn't get his teeth fixed. I'm going to be exposing his book some more. I'm about to finish reading it today. Because I know... Y'all want me to break that book down some more. I broke down the first five pages. And I was like, I did a whole video about the first five pages. So, this your boy. Photoshopping Louis Vuitton into the picture, holding the Grey Goose. In the future, he might Photoshop that and put a Dr. Sebi bottle in his hand. I never know. <laughs> you never know. There goes Zabe. You in Atlanta, shouty? You don't even talk to me no more. Huh? I got the record. I had to record the phone call. It's a recorded phone call on YouTube of me talking to Dr. Sebi's daughter. She said I was giving her ideas. I was asking to work with Dr. Sebi, and I was patiently waiting. I figured, yeah, you know, y'all probably don't got time for a lot of people on their BS. So let me just prove that I'm, you know, worth this. That I need a job opportunity. That I'm not gonna waste your time. I talked to her for a whole year. Then I finally said, hey, are you married? Because I just was like, let me just talk to your husband, your, your uncle, your brother or something. Because y'all are like playing with me. So this is some family stuff that's going on. And I really want the 16-year-old to stay out of it. You know, like don't talk to me no more until you grow up. Because I want you to, I don't want to traumatize that young lady. And I thought about that. Like she's only 16 I can, Zave is grown. I can talk about her and, and how sexy or whatever she want to be. You know, I could talk about that, but I'm not going to be talking about the 16 year old. I'm going to just try to show y'all her video with her mom. I'm not even going to show y'all the videos by herself because that's not even important right now. She got time to learn and grow up and have a great life. I ain't going to ruin it out of respect to her because you a woman of color in the future. You're going to grow up, and if I traumatize you and make the world a bad place, then I'm going to be the bad guy. So I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to talk about Zave. Wait, okay, so this is the person. They they posted this, said that that was Victor. I don't, I don't think that's Victor, but okay. I think the nose is different. They posted this. Now, Victor sits like this because he has an injury that he has not healed. I'm exposing Victor. Yeah, you sent me a bag of dirt, sir. You sent me a bag of dirt, and now I've seen what's wrong with you. You're really sick. 
I don't, how did he get that injury? I forgot how he even got it. But he has an injury on his leg, a real bad injury. He needs to heal it. That's why he won't box me. Because he's hurt. Something wrong with him. That's why he's getting high all the time. I got beat up by the police. So if you see me drink a beer, just leave me alone. I'm trying to get the real beer, not that watered down cheap crap. Let's see. I want the beer with the herbs in it. Yeah, healing products, Victor keeping. Okay. Why didn't Victor work for Dr. Sebi's company? Why don't he go back to Dr. Sebi's house? Why don't he work for Usha Village? Because I want to show y'all something. This is what I got from my mama. Y'all ready? See what that say? Kelp. I grew up eating seaweed. Went to my damn grandma house. Uh, rest, in, rest in peace. My grandma is gone now. And um, I was like, man, I can't find that season. And nowhere I had to call my family. Where, where did we get that seaweed from? Because I remember we've been using seaweed for a long time. So, sea moss is a type of seaweed. Bladderwrack is a type of kelp, if I'm correct. So, I'm not trying to be, like, I'm not new to this. A lot of these people are just jumping, jump around on the internet and just start calling themselves Dr. Sebi. And they're part of the traveling circus. Anyway. I was listening to, to uh, Tariq Nasheed and then, and then this uh, advertisement for this uh, nutritionist lady popped up. She got her uh, black husband or something. I think they married. Hold up. Let me not say that. I think they not married because I think she's a witch. Yeah, I think I saw her with a shirt that said she was a witch. So she might be a Satanist. She celebrates Halloween. They spent a good grip of money on that Halloween stuff. They didn't say fuck Halloween I'm about to go just help do some charity work. I'm about to send out some free herbs. No, they went and got dressed up for Halloween. Maybe they're promoting their business. Maybe they're just going to Satanist parties. I don't know, but I'm going to pray that they don't do nothing to this black man. Because I'm scared that he's going to come up missing. Like <laughs> This shit crazy. He's going to mess around. She got pineapples right here. Pineapples are garbage. We know that because Dr. Sebi told us. See, they wasn't around Dr. Sebi in the last days, so they don't know what we know. The actual followers and students of Dr. Sebi. Dr. Sebi only got a few students. I'm not even an actual student of Dr. Sebi. I'm a follower and a supporter and a volunteer. Now, are his children actually his students? They were raised around it, but did they really sit down and say, I'm going to master this, I'm going to inherit this business? No, they wanted. They were doing some other stuff, man. They wasn't trying to run the company and learn how to save the world and play Nipsey Hustle and all that. They weren't playing Nipsey Hustle when he was alive. Man, hold on. See, uh, some angry caller called Tariq Nasheed's show. And I was looking at this lady, and I saw she has a little spot on her arm. So I found out that she was sick. And I said, well, you still got the, you still got the spots. So I don't know how long she's been trying to heal, but she ain't healed yet. I've been seeing all kind of little stuff like that. Like, I don't know. So this is why I really was praying for the black man. Because I said, man, you come outside. I don't know if he's shooting the video, but... I think, you know, she'll probably be like, yo, you know, you take a bite. Or if you just came outside and you didn't know what was going on, he's like, hey, I want some watermelon. It's like a trap, bro. I'm like, she just let the dogs lick and bite and eat that. And I said, bro, don't don't be had, don't be out here going crazy like Kim, with that Kim Kardashian shit and fuck around and go crazy like Kanye West because your girl up there sharing food with the dog and eating after the dog man this shit crazy hold on okay you see that the dog bit it 
And then she bit it. There's only three pieces of watermelon now. She let the dog take a bite, and then she bit the same watermelon, watermelon slice that, that the dog was biting or uh, licking, whatever they got going on, man. It's just, I said, white people, why white people? Y'all could have just gave the dog their own separate little piece, but I guess the dog is a part of the family, and you know, they think that we come from monkeys, and I, I guess they come from monkeys too. I don't really know what white people believe in Satanism or what other religions they have in the world. It's it's just a crazy, crazy world. But I do know that she had on a shirt that said it was a witch. So I was like, you dirty. You're supposed to be a health person, a health guru or a nutritionist or health influencer, and you vegan. But you're taking it a little bit too far. And I don't know if her name is Becky. But if your name was was Becky, Becky, you are tripping. I gotta go play this video. So this shit just fucking blew my mind. I was like, white people just, y'all just on your own world. Like, I'm gonna just pray for them. I don't hate them. And if that black man wanna eat after them dogs and, and live with her, and all I can do is pray for him. You know, all I can do is pray. I can't say good, bad. I can't hate it. Because all lives matter. But they were making fun of me for being homeless. Well, this lady got a house. And she eating after dogs. I don't eat after dogs. And I'm homeless. Shit. I'm trying to tell y'all, like, <laughs> this shit. Like... I'll be like, I'm hungry, I'm vegan, I want some watermelon, I'm starving. But this white girl just let the dog eat it first. And then she was like, hey, eat with me. And you should just run. You should just run. But sometimes love, you know, love is just so amazing. Because they have their little black and white love. And it's just the future. And hopefully nothing bad happens. I just think that more power to them. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, oh my God. Man. And then wash your flip flops. Wash your sandals and your flip flops, baby. You know, just, you know, wash them with vinegar and then wash them with soap. Maybe wash off the dogs. Brush their teeth and stuff, I guess. I don't know what to to say because I'm like, I didn't know, like, the world is a crazy place. I didn't know it get like this. Like, you'd be like, damn, I'm falling. Got me a bad white girl. She used to be sick. Now she healthy and she all vegan. Then you find out she feeding you poison. It's slave food. And you got to eat after the dog and the dog jump in the bed and just put germs and stuff. See, Dr. Sebi taught us that the dog was going to bring germs and all kind of bullshit into the house. He didn't mean germ. He said, like, disease. Like, that the dog is going to give you a virus. And then I showed y'all when they had the cats with uh, viruses. And I said, when the virus outbreak happened, well, there's so many of them. But every time a virus outbreak happened, I just make a video to warn y'all. And I'd be like, be careful with them little dogs and cats and shit. Gotta be careful. They can catch them viruses because they low vibrational. They're eating slave food too. And that's how they got y'all. Eating the, the dog food is the same as the slave food. And it's making the dog sick. So Dr. Sebi told us all this. So we're going to move on. It's just a crazy, crazy world. White people, I don't know what to say, but just I'm going to just mind my business. And stay to Wakanda. And I'm going to stay my black ass away from your neighborhood. Because that's what y'all told me to do. And I'm going to just stay in Wakanda. I think that should be fair. <laughs> you know, y'all Satan is playing make-believe and shit. I'm like, okay, let me play make-believe too. God damn. Y'all are crazy. It was, if I stay in Wakanda, mind my business. I ain't coming over there to fuck with y'all. Y'all, just all I say is y'all might want to give up the mayonnaise. That's all I'm saying, white people. Don't be mad at me. Don't troll me. 
had to talk about this. I don't even like talking about white people. I, mean, I like to mind my own business. I'm a good runaway slave. I don't hurt nobody. I don't go out there and be messing with them white people. I know how crazy y'all are. I don't want, I don't want, I, don't, I talk to my people. Now, if white people, you, if you want to box me, come on then. Come on to the boxing match. Let's do it. Let's make some money. Hell yeah. Because these black folks scared to box me. And I'm beating them all in debates. So white people just, excuse me, hard on. I just don't fuck with that Satanist shit. Um, I'm about to go back to church. I suggest y'all go to church or something. You know, ain't nothing wrong with washing your hands and going to church and not eating after dog. Because I think if y'all looking down on me, Y'all don't realize uh, maybe God could be looking down on you. Like maybe you not supposed to eat pineapples. Maybe you're not supposed to eat behind the dog. I think it's in the Bible. It said you got to have the ducks where the ducks supposed to be or something like that. And God put them all where they're supposed to be at. And it wasn't in the daggone pyramid. Only daggone cat can even come in the daggone pyramid. I mean, I'm just saying, the pyramids was in the Bible. Y'all act like they wasn't. I'm going to write a new Bible. And the new Bible is going to be better than Kanye's. It's going to have a pyramid on it. It's going to be Jesus with a pyramid. And I know y'all going to steal my shit. If you try to steal it, I'm going to be like, remember when I told y'all? <laughs> That's why I'm like telling y'all my ideas. Y'all be stealing everything. Miss World Africa. Miss World is eating giant rats with a white guy with a bandana. Would y'all let a black guy with a bandana like that run around there? Is he banging on y'all? And then y'all just sat down and ate? What's going on here? Is that really just her boyfriend? What, the, what kind of show is this? I saw this show. I was like, okay. I ain't gonna say nothing because maybe he just in a motorcycle club. I don't know. I don't know this white man. But shit, what the hell? I just want to show y'all y'all self real quick. See how you got the right, the red, uh, the red hat. She don't got no that going. She don't even got her Miss World Africa little turban thing. It's like a thing they wear over their body that say they won. She don't even got it on. Okay, well, all the Africans that's trolling me or hating on Tyreek and Sheed, y'all need to go vegan with this Dr. Sebi shit, for real. I know y'all got traditions. Fuck them traditions, man. Make a new one. No more rats. Man, it's it's all kind of terrible stuff going on in the world. I'm finding out about some of this expensive coffee with the cat, cat poop coffee. And I'm like, man, y'all are crazy. Then I saw 2 chains buy the cat poop coffee. And then Erica Badu selling underwear, used underwear in the form of an incense. She's selling her booty sweat. And I said, y'all, we need to stop and get back to God. God don't want us to go to crazy places and eat cat poop coffee. And you don't need god dang... Um, Rats. They're eating giant rats. Y'all don't y'all be disrespectful to my black ass and I'll try to give you a salad. This white man gonna come over there and say, Let's eat rats, and you gonna do it. Because it's your tradition. We got problems right now that we got I mean, it's problems in this world. I'm like, okay, we got a lot of problems we gotta try to fix. And I understand now why y'all so crazy. Like, that's the shit we only seen in a movie. Like, for real, real. Like, y'all coming from another place with this shit. Like, I thought y'all just was eating giraffes and, and zebras and tigers and shit. I didn't know y'all eat rats. What's the point of eating a fucking rat? They say they got good protein in it. I'm like, I thought the lion would be the thing that you need to eat. Is that a scam? Is that just an African scam? <laughs> Like come to the sh come to the poor poor place where we eat rats and we're gonna 
make you a chief. And now you'll be a king. <laughs> Queen Afua didn't even get no royal title still. I'm like, these people eat rats over there. You're supposed to be a vegan. And they didn't even give you no royal title and recognize you. God dang. She probably considered more respected than fake Queen Afua. And I fool supposed to have all this knowledge and all this shit. But this African girl, Miss World Africa, she probably can do way more in the world faster. I don't know. She might be a slave. I don't even know, man. She dressed like super kind of poor right here. It's like, why she ain't wear one of them expensive, like fancy, fancy things they be wearing and just walk around with security guards or something. Like, I was watching this shit like she looked like a regular poor girl. And I was just like, man, they about to go eat rats for real. Stop playing with me. And I had to watch this damn video. So while we arguing about pineapples and oranges and, and goddamn bell peppers, this shit is a game. Were y'all not paying attention to people scamming y'all with Dr. Savvy books and products or whatever it is they doing? And Dr. Savvy kids not telling the truth. And then sometimes they telling the truth from shit he used to do back in the day. But that he told us we don't need to do. So we don't need to do what Dr. Sabi did. We need to be better than Dr. Sabi. Well, how can we do that? I'm trying to show y'all the goddamn prototype. The real shit. They're taking, Dr. Sabi family taking y'all backwards. They're like, oh, you can just eat kale and Eat, uh, what she said, eat Twinkies and shit like that. And I almost guarantee you, because I just thought about this, she a nurse. Kelly Bowman, or Dr. Sabi's daughter, you a nurse. So if your head hurt, I'm pretty sure you're going to take some drugs. I'm pretty sure if you don't feel good, you're going to take some drugs. You, you made money selling drugs, y'all, like a majority of your life, right? I, I thought about this shit. Like, do y'all understand y'all asking this lady for help? In the end, you're going to get sick and just end up going back to take drugs. She worked for the Matrix. She she really says she really is a nurse. I don't know. I can't prove it. But, um, yeah, that's her right there. I just don't know why she don't let her hair grow. Well, I think she want to just look like Dr. Sabi so much so she can make more money. But if I find out Dr. Sabi is a goddamn pedo, I'm about to change my fucking name. I don't care about fame, money, marketing. I'm going to just change it. I'm not, I'm not going to promote the website no more. All his family got to do is tell me that I already know he was a crackhead. I know other crazy shit, but I know, you know, I don't know nothing bad. If they say something bad about Dr. Sabi and show when he was fat, because they said they were so emotional, they didn't want to show the pictures when he was fat. It's her. Let's get another one. She's at the barber shop. Why? Why you got dudes cutting your hair? Why you ain't get the lady to cut your hair? I don't know. She taking his energy. Oh, okay, okay. She taking his energy. Why you ain't just cut your own hair or braid it and stuff? Why don't you? Why don't y'all just braid and lock your hair? Why you got a big forehead? I don't know, man. This the other one I showed y'all when she had the green bell pepper. I ain't gonna show y'all the other one with. She did some more photo shoots with green bell peppers and hot avocado. And I'm like, yo, I think that hot avocado is jail food. I'm just telling y'all. I, I, y'all want to send it to the laboratory and do some tests? We could do that. Somebody was just talking shit to me today about doing a laboratory test. I was like, nigga, you broke. I'm broke. I don't, I don't, I can't afford the laboratory right now. You go call the damn laboratory and then call me back. Because I'm going to block you. What y'all in the Maybach? Y'all in the Bentley or the Maybach? What y'all in? Don't scam people in my city. Get out of my country.
Y'all in the Maybach in the Benz, huh? Y'all in the y'all in the Bentley? Did y'all get it from Brother Polite? Oh, I don't know about all that. I don't know what's going on. See, I was I was actually sending people to y'all. I was like, oh, they're probably okay. Like, you know, they want to start their own business, whatever. Then I kept, I started looking to see what y'all was doing. Victor Bowman sent sending people bags of dirt. People was telling me like, yo, this shit came with trash in it. I'm like, what? You got CMOS with trash in it too? They were like, yeah, man. I said, damn. Like, if you go get some real cheap CMOS, you can, it's no telling what it'd be in there. It'd be little pieces of paper in there and shit like that. Um, ocean uh, trash, you know. <laughs> BP oil spill be in there. You just, you just don't know. So, Victor to send all that dirt, I was like, nigga, y'all put extra dirt in there. <laughs> y'all, you put a whole bunch of dirt up in there. Like, so it could make somebody think they got what they ordered so that they don't report you in time. Most people not even going to use the product. They're going to take a picture of it and let it sit on the shelf. They might use it. it take time to find the dirt in the bottom. Then it's too late. I caught you a scam. See, I, have, I can drink all the sea moss in like two days so that's how i caught your scam i was like yo there's a lot of dirt in the bottom of the bag man like what the fuck is this they call me dr sabi jr for a reason because i grew up on the seaweed and i'm showing y'all that now kelly bowman posted this picture she's 16 now and she's made a threat on my life so this is an old picture of her and Kelly Bowman, and uh, she just said something like, if you say something about my mom, and she, like, threatened me, and I was just like, you're 16, like, go away, little girl, go to, go do your homework, <laughs> you know what I mean, I'm like, yo, I'm just telling y'all that y'all business is bad, and that y'all doing the wrong thing, and people call me Dr. Sabi, and how dare you speak to me like that, she said she always gonna love her mama. Look at that. Look at that. I make them turn this damn video off. Lord have mercy. Why did she take this? Why did why didn't you take more than one picture or just throw this one away? Why, Jesus? That shit crazy, man. Say no to drugs, everybody. Don't do drugs. And I mean the ones that the hospital sell where she work. Say no to drugs, y'all. So, yeah. um, That's... I don't know. What's in it? Sayima? This is Sayima with Dr. Sabi back in the day. Old pictures, right? Now, was Victor using one of her pictures or, or Kelly's pictures or something like that to say it was him? Like, I, I'm just like, you see how she got a sh little shirt on and, and they taking a picture? Why did that other picture look like that? Like, that's that was not a good look, man. That was crazy. Hold on. This is what uh, Red Pill said to me. This is Dr. Sebi's girlfriend's children, not Dr. Sebi's kids. They worked for the music industry. They would feel Valentine and the Masons and all these symbols that they wear. They're part of the traveling circus. I told them that I wanted to work for Dr. Sabi, and I thought that they were Dr. Sabi's kid. They don't really make it really public, like, so everybody just know, like, maybe we shouldn't trust you, <laughs> you know? Like, you're not even his kid. Then you work with his enemies. And I'm over here like, yo, y'all need to stop selling this different stuff, like, stop using that or... You know, I've been helping the Dr. Sebi office, and this nigga saying nasty potty mouth stuff to me. I'm like, how dare you? I actually buy Dr. Sebi products still. I'm not one of these people out here running around selling stuff and making my own like that. I can make my own sea mosses, but I don't feel like selling it. Like, I just, I don't know. 
I just rather work for Dr. Sebi's company. Like, why, why copy his stuff still? To this day, I still feel that way. So why would you disrespect me when there's all these people out here scamming off of your clout, off of the, the interviews that you did? Because he did interviews with Dr. Sebi, then he'll do an interview with Dr. Sebi's enemy the next day, who was with the spells and the witchcraft. Phil Valentine is with Queen Afua. They broke up, but they are together. Then you see him with fake Queen Afua. These people are fake, man. And they nasty, potty mouth people. And I'm like, this is who you promote on Sarnetter, House of Consciousness, with K for the cons. And this is who you got out there talking to your young kids and stuff. And if your kids be, hey, man, fuck that shit you talking about, nigga, blah, 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 blah. This is how you talk to the young man. I'm younger than this old man. This is a, uh, eight years ago a picture of them now. They actually look sicker now. And I've been telling y'all that that gold water, I don't think it's healthy. I don't know how they make it, where it really come from. And they keep talking about they take this gold water every day and they don't look healthy. They look sick. And I said, hey, you can box me. I beat you in a debate. Let's box, man. And you say nasty potty mouth stuff to me. Huh? That's how you talk to the kids out there on the street? That's disgusting. This nigga say nasty shit like, what make you think some shit like that? You supposed to be like, nigga, I'll beat you in basketball. I'll beat you in pool. I'll beat you in goddamn football. I'll box you. We could do karate. We could do Muay Thai. We could do all that. We could have a goddamn five-part series of the battles like shit. We could, I don't play chess, but uh, you know what I mean? It's like, wh how did it just jump? From like, yo, like, y'all can't play basketball? Y'all don't dance battle? You mean niggas can have dance battles for the end of the world, like Avengers? At the end of the world, what did that nigga say? Nigga, dance battle. That's what you supposed to be doing. Like, nah, man. not We don't have to fight. You don't got to say all this nasty stuff about words. I didn't say I'm going to come over there and bust your window in your shop or... or or your mama this, your mama is a hoe or some shit like that. Your mama's a crackhead or Dr. Sebi was a crackhead. And why you, where your daddy at? If that ain't, if Dr. Sebi ain't your daddy, then who the fuck is your daddy? You know what I mean? I'm like, why don't they just go live with their dad? They died. Is their dad on crack like Queen of Fools? A baby daddy? Supernova Sloan? Where is he? Did y'all save him? Did y'all save him? Did y'all put him in a spaceship? Fly him off to the moon? Is he missing now? Did y'all get the life insurance money? Didn't didn't pay the rent? Got evicted? What went on? Why is our fool getting evicted? Where your daddy at? Why he ain't going live with his dad all the time? Even 19 Keys got his dad with him. And I will still knock him out. I don't like 19 Keys. But um, I don't know. These niggas don't want to box. They want to talk bullshit and say nasty potty mouth shit to me. And I'm like, yo, this is the problem in the community. We have agents. They're agents of the music industry business. They have not been deprogrammed to do good. They have not gone through therapy. They might go sit on a mountain and, and with some crystals and run around with Pope outfits and headband bandanas and all this dumb shit. I'm like, y'all just made a new bandana. For the traveling circus. It's just a new turban y'all kind of trying to create. And I'm like, 19 Keys said he about, he charging hundreds of dollars and he can about to charge $10,000 for one of them head wraps. I'm like, it's going to have real gold thread in it? Like, what the fuck is, why are you charging $10,000 for this shit? It's going to come with mentorship? Okay. And teach you about a bunch of bullshit. I done almost exposed everybody that 19 Keys sit down with. From Yaaki, the wannabe Dr. Sebi. Uh, and, and honestly, Yaaki and all these people, they could be better in the future. Hopefully, they do get better. That's the whole point of me making these videos. I don't want these people to just go jump off a building. I don't hate nobody for being stupid. I want y'all to stop being stupid, though. And let's make the world a better place if you really 
supposed to be woke. But when you do that, you might end up being broke and homeless. When you get away from the cult and the masons and the traveling circus and all them crazy weird symbols y'all wear and all them big rocks y'all wearing, when you get away from that, you might be broke. But I don't understand why y'all just didn't build Wakanda. It's enough of y'all to get some land that y'all so broke. I got to watch Kev Gills again. Dang. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to watch Kev Gills in a little bit, but, uh, yeah, so he had posted a picture of his friend or whoever, his associate, because I don't think none of y'all got friends. I'm probably, Dr. Sebi would say, that's your best friend. He over there trying to save you from going to hell. He trying to tell you God don't want y'all to do this shit no more. This shit need to end. Destroy that more science temple like Tyreek Nasheed did it. I'm so glad Tariq Nasheed finally did that shit. I ain't never seen nobody really break it down good like that. Except for him and Kev Gills. Maybe I'm late. Maybe I don't know. But, just, hey, thank y'all for doing it. Somebody did it before, obviously, because it was in the newspapers and shit like that. So, thank y'all to them people. And hopefully them people go vegan. But he, he reshared somebody eating pineapples and shit. And I was like... Yo, here go the Dr. Sebi clip about pineapples. He did not give me a reshare. He didn't say, yo, this Dr. Sebi Jr. dude just beat me in a debate. He will d destroy everything in the conscious community. No, because I'm going to be the Pope. I'm going to be the Illuminati. I'm going to be the star. I'm going to be Jesus. All that shit you claim to be. The Christ and all that shit. Now, y'all claim to be the devil. That's what you are. I ain't claiming that shit. For real, though. People call me the devil. I'm not the devil. Y'all is the devil. I want to make that clear. If I ever get drunk and be like, ah, I'm the devil. No, not really. I was just trying to scare somebody that was acting weird. Like, nigga, you're going to find out who is the motherfucking one you scared of. The real one. That's going to show you how fake you is. That I send you a Dr. Sebi clip. I said, Dr. Sebi said it, punk. Let's box. I whoop you and your brother or 19 keys in a boxing match. Want to fight you like a man. Let's come on, man. I don't care about losing. What you scared of? Huh? Punk ass nigga. Huh? Don't make me get loud, man. Nigga, wake up all the neighbors. Shit. Punk ass nigga. Nigga said get a life, weirdo. Call that nigga a punk. That nigga said some punk ass shit to me, didn't he? He said, I'm obsessed with Dr. Sebi. Well, then you shouldn't be in a Dr. Sebi movie. If you think that anybody that's trying to teach what Dr. Sebi taught, you should you should never, ever say Dr. Sebi's name. You ain't his kid. You need to fuck off and go get a job, you buster bum nigga. You a buster nigga. Low vibrational ass nigga. Make fun of people wearing uh, crystals. And he the one walking around with the biggest crystals and rocks and shit. Selling them shits or whatever. Nigga. Put that shit in my slingshot. Slew Goliath. What was his name? Goliath, right? The, the fucking giant, nigga. In the Bible. Take one of them rocks right from you. Show you what to do with it. He said, y'all need to be making uh, one of these twins. That One of them... They said something about y'all need to be making cell phones and, and you know, we need to do something better in the community. He was making fun of Gucci Man and shit. Gucci Man sell Dr. Savvy herbs now. What the fuck is you talking about? You speaking down on Gucci? Gucci said he don't want to do drugs. And he wanted, I, he was eating healthy and everything. He even went to a vegan restaurant. Y'all didn't see when Gucci Man went to the vegan restaurant? I told you, Gucci Man is my clone because he robbed me. And I was like, nigga, you broke. I know you broke, so I don't want to save you then, nigga. Thought I was mad because you stole my jewelry, Gucci man, and melted it down and turned it into some old jewelry. I ain't even hating. You see what I'm saying? The shit, I didn't, I didn't want it anyway. That's why I didn't have it on. All that shit wasn't even worth it. <laughs> you know? Gucci man and them go put on all them chains, all them crystals and, and diamonds and shit. Them niggas gonna have fucking neck pain. That shit gonna hurt wearing all that jewelry and shit like that. All them rocks. That shit weighing them niggas down. And it's wearing you down. 
And I know that about you. <laughs> it's like ankle weights <laughs> in Dragon Ball Z. They don't. They didn't ever probably watched all that shit. They probably watched something else, Phil Valentine, or some other bullshit energy vampire nigga, Satanist. Bobby Hemmett at least told us that he would call out Satan name and just say he did everything. We said, okay, Bobby, you you said everything, Bobby. Nobody can find Bobby Hemmett right now. We don't even know where he at. <laughs> you know. He told us he did everything. We said, Bobby, that was a little bit too much of everything. That's scary now, Bobby. Because you already claiming, you already screaming Satan's name, Bobby Hemmett. So now I'm like, okay, Bobby Hemmett or Satanist, whatever. He wear all the crazy shit. These people are no different, man. No. I think I think uh, Malachi York probably was a Satanist. You know, they just do whatever they want because they feel like, oh, I just I got the best life right now. But your children, you ruined the future for your children. And, and everybody else kids, nigga. Fuck you. You fucking up the future, nigga. Fucking up people kundalini and they chakras with this garbage shit you sell. I don't know about the gold water for sure. I got my own. I don't use they shit. I don't use they gold water. I don't believe in using that shit every day, though. Hell no. Nah. Dr. Sebi told us we don't need that. I use I don't use that shit every day. Hell no, nah, man. Got y'all buying that shit and they got a little bitty bottle. That shit probably double the price of my shit. I'm like, yo, I don't even think that shit good. Because I tried another product like that before. And I was just like, yo, I don't think this is good. Now, the scary part is, y'all better not be making this shit out of dead niggas. Because I'm, that, either way, I'm like, I'm about to say, fuck all that shit. But, uh, man, Gucci Man selling herbs now. That's the point. God bless him and his family. You know, keep speaking positive. Gucci Man is like a gospel rapper now. If y'all ain't even noticed that shit, Gucci Man about to make a gospel album. I swear. He about to. He like, he like one foot in the door. He did like a music video in a church. I said, uh huh, you gonna fuck around and make a gospel album. <laughs> He's selling herbs and shit. That nigga happy as fuck. But y'all making fun of him. Talking about Gucci Man. What Gucci Man? Y'all talking about? I dare you to walk up to Gucci Man and say that shit. From you from New York. Walk up to Gucci Man and say that shit you said to me, nigga. I goddamn told Gucci Man to go to y'all to get some herbs. <laughs> Gucci Man selling herbs now. Said, fuck them niggas. Them niggas ain't shit. <laughs> that shit crazy, man. Yo, I told you that I made part of Dr. Sebi website. I told you, like, yo, I created Facebook, iPhone. I'm telling this dude, this dude is a hater. Y'all don't want nobody in the conscious community that can outshine y'all. Y'all been, hot, like, holding me back all this time. Now, Dr. Sebi's daughter's granddaughter, like, you just a bum because your cousins ain't shit. <laughs> That's why. Y'all y'all robbing. What if I was an employee and said, like, look, yo, I didn't get my I didn't get my unemployment. I didn't get my paycheck. And I came to talk to them. Y'all talk to the employees like that? Cause I'm a volunteer. Y'all just make fun of them. Be like, ah, you homeless. I'm like, you know the police beat me up and then your daddy died? And then they tortured me in the jail. Doctor said, "Be family." They they tried to kill me too. If they killed me, I wouldn't have been able to tell y'all and do all this great stuff that I'm doing, showing y'all like, yo, they almost uh, fucked up the whole future, man. If I wasn't Black Jesus, y'all would be fucked right now. Y'all wouldn't have nobody in your corner trying to help you and tell you the truth. Y'all just think, oh. Everybody hate us. No, nah, not I was trying to help y'all. I was volunteering, nigga. I needed to I need to get paid. Y'all owe me money. Y'all y'all got Bentleys and shit. Okay, let me hold something. Oh, y'all like making fun of me because I'm homeless? But y'all know y'all owe me money though. I directed Dr. Sabi videos too. I ain't get paid for that. I thought Dr. Sabi was gonna pay me, but they didn't tell Dr. Sabi who I was. 
Them niggas acted like they wrote the questions for Dr. Sabian. Go ask Sonetta. Sonetta would be like, yeah, that nigga offered me $1,000. He tried to charge me 5000 to do an event with Dr. Sebi. I said, I got $1,000 to put him on a video call. And we just go live real quick and just talk like how we do. And he was like, Dr. Sebi will do that? I said, yeah, man, for $1,000, man, he going to do it because then we can promote the website. You know, never got called back. Next thing you know, Dr. Sebi did. I sent I sent Sonetta all the questions. About 30 questions. We were going to talk about kale. We were going to talk about all this stuff that I full sell. All that. So when Red, when Sonetta showed Red Pill and Blue Pill, he exposed them like that. I'm not sure if that's before or after me and him talk. I'm not sure. Like he might, he might need it to get his karma right. Because he was like, yo, did we fuck up on Dr. Fabi? They said, yeah, they took advantage of the formula. We're getting into part two, man. So, yeah, I sent him a picture of his homies. He's got, like, sea moss and different products, gold water, and a pineapple. And I was like, yo, did you tell them Dr. Sebi said that's poison? Like, just warn them. Just say, hey, you know, we might need to get this up. I said, you promote people that's not vegan, uh, low vibrational, pineapple and black seed oil, poison, trash. Y'all ain't shit. That's fish right there or something on he they eating. So I was like, you dude, you just shouted them out. You didn't shout me out though. You didn't say, yo, Dr. Sebi Jr. showing us this uh pineapple clip. You ain't never seen it before. Have you seen it before, huh? Are they hating now when people coming up with old Dr. Sebi clips they never seen because they weren't paying attention? They was out bullshitting. Like, y'all wasn't right there, right there beside Dr. Sebi making sure he was good. That's why he got it. That's why he died. Y'all wasn't there helping. Y'all was promoting people like this. But y'all didn't, y'all didn't give me a reshare, and I'm just showing Dr. Sebi clips. Then y'all shouldn't be in a Dr. Sebi movie. At first, I wasn't going to cut y'all out the movie, because I'm, I'm directing the Dr. Sebi movie. That's what I'm doing. So, because I'm the director now, officially, I'm telling y'all, I'm the director. Because if y'all make that movie without me, I'm going to expose it. So, right now, I'm in the editor chair just like, Phew. that movie has to be stopped. It has to be corrected. It has to be made better. And I wasn't going to cut them out. I cut Erica Badu, Afua, Umar Johnson, 19 Keys, uh, what's his name, Rizzo Islam. None of them supposed to be in a Dr. Sebi movie. I was going to leave his family now. His family, I, I was going to leave them in the movie. Y'all ain't Dr. Sebi family. Now, his, now, Mama Peel, I don't care if she in the movie right now. Mrs. Dr. Sebi, I don't like her with her pineapple, but if she want to be in the movie, so be it. But them twin pillars, they do not need to be in a Dr. Sebi movie. I'm exposing y'all before the movie even come out. Okay, I said I was a slave of the Illuminati. He said, he was making fun of me, talking about uh, he the leader of the Illuminati. He called me little nigga. I said, nigga, I'm taller than you. Let's box, nigga. <laughs> I said, you smaller than me. <laughs> Niggas is lame. <laughs> Bitch made. I warned him when Dr. Sebi was alive. Here go to her telling the story about what Dr. Sebi said about pineapples. Y'all can't just debate. You just go to jokes and nasty talk. That's racist. That's what trolls do. That's what racist trolls do. And that's how you act. So 
while you blocking me talking trash, you're sitting right there with your mama. <laughs> She just called you stupid on the internet. You supposed to be like, mommy dearest. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you fucking up her energy. Oh, but they're waving, right? That's no, they're just doing. Oh, so they're not waving at you. No, they're just doing. They're doing the way. Just waving. Oh, now they're just waving. Good evening, everybody. Thank you. Damn, look at how she just shook her head talking to her mama. Join me and Simon tonight to talk about something that's come hard for some people. She's 16? Okay, give her a whooping then. Give her a whooping. She in your house? Give her a whooping. Um, today we're discussing seasonal depression. And um, I wanted to give a little overview of what seasonal depression means. And um, seasonal affective disorder is a kind of depression that happens during a certain time of year. And you'll normally see it about autumn and winter. And you'll start to see people come out of it normally around spring. And by summer, it's, um, it's for some completely, you know, relieved. And why that happens is because I don't, you know, I'm not sure if you guys know, uh, in autumn, the sun starts to pull away. And um, what happens is uh, our bodies change with that. Our hormones change with that. When that happens, there's a low that happens, low serotonin, low feelings, and we always wonder why is it at that time of year that men? Uh, well, here we are discussing depression. So seasonal affective disorder, um, acronym SAD, it's funny that it, it's, it's called SAD because that's one of the things you feel. How do you know when you have uh, seasonal depression? You got issues like But then you can't get out and try and relieve that feeling by seeing your loved ones that support you. So um, a lot of feelings go around about seasonal depression, and this is about the time that it starts to happen. And I wanted to have an honest conversation about it because a lot of you are feeling it, and and I've gotten a lot of you expressing that to me about how you're feeling. Shout out to the ones who uh, contact me and, and are truly honest in your consultations with me about how you're feeling, this sad feeling. So we're not going to have a conversation about what young people feel. I know what older people feel, uh, but what happens with younger people? They start to feel like depressed and like upset at the world. Like, it's like one situation that happened where somebody's acting kind of funny and then another person uh, starts acting funny it's kind of like, okay. So you basically like, I remember there was a time that I went through it and I just kind of blocked it and it was just like, well, care anymore but you want them nails and you want your hair laid you care you you care about that you make fun of homeless people that's what you were just doing our community like we should have been going to get healing do you think we took him for granted brother the best way to answer that 
Yeah, we taking the brothers, we taking his life. Yeah, we taking the brothers, we taking his life. What? Yeah, I, I, would, I would concur and say that, yeah, we taking the brothers, we taking his life for granted. We take the possession of these formulas, these sacred healing formulas, you know. What? Here go her, Sayima, right here. She posted this. I'm showing y'all what she posted. She said, go get him. Do your job. Okay. Now, maybe the issue was that I had a picture of my son up there. And maybe she thought I was a kid or something. But my page was public so she could see who I was. And she just said, you know, talking shit and blocking people. She said, I didn't. What? What? She's saying, I didn't help Dr. Sebi Company in Azave. I, I tagged her in the phone phone call. I, you know, I reposted it and tagged it. I showed her saying that I was really good for a whole year. And I was talking to her about working with Dr. Sebi. And I can, um, I can't find like all the old stuff from when I was talking with the Dr. Sebi office and the manager of his other office because he has three offices at the least. You have Dr. Sebi Cell Food, you have Usha Village, and then you have New Life with Jamal Monker. He had some other stuff he was trying to do like Bilingo and other things, but I had to expose the Bilingo people. The Bilingo lady knows me because I was talking to her. And I was like, hey, tell Dr. Sebi, you know, I need to work with him. And I need to just cook and, and do an interview. She did not introduce me to Dr. Sebi. She blocked me. But the, the, the head of Dr. Sebi Self, well, not Dr. Sebi Self, I don't want to say the wrong thing, Bilingo. Um, her name is like Return of the Goddess. I forgot her other name, but she's a sick patient that Dr. Sebi healed. So she's still sick mentally. She still got to go vegan for like 10, 20 years before she could try to run a company for Dr. Sebi. And I'm like, yo, you can't, you shouldn't even be running this. Like you working with people that's anti-Dr. Sebi like Aries. So I'm talking now to the Dr. Sebi family. If they still watching this video that, hey, the Bilingo lady, she on some bullshit. But she said something to me before she blocked me one time. She said... You have done great work. Thank you for all the good you've done. And then she said something like, bless up, like bless up, bless you. And then she was like, um, but you, you've done too much. You've caused problems. I'm like, what did I do? Like, I'm just showing like, hey, I, I helped Dr. Sebi daughter Usha. I talked to Zave. I said, Usha, that's her cousin or sister. Usha is like what? her? It's the granddaughter's auntie. Okay, yeah. Usha will be like her aunt. Okay, there you go. Your aunt is Usha. I'm talking about your aunt, Sayima. So instead of saying, no, I didn't, why don't you just go talk to her? Maybe y'all not cool. Maybe you cool with Zave. I thought y'all were following each other. Because I actually was tagging Zave, and I just said, look, I'm going to tell Sayima, too, because she worked for the company now. She's not a little kid no more. She works for uh, Sebi's daughters. So I'm like, okay, she's an employee. She probably is going to just send the message over. No big deal. She's talking shit to me. Okay, so she said, if you speak about it again, okay, so she said she don't play with homeless sick people and she threatened me and she told people to go get me, do your job. What What is their job to go get me? What does that mean? That's a threat on my life, little girl. You're not even American, are you? 
I think she might. I don't know if she is. You know, uh, why don't you go back to Honduras and get out my country, get out my city? I'm saying, yo, this is my city for real. I told everybody about Dr. Sebi. I just walk up to strangers. Hey, go to Dr. Sebi sell food. Try sea moss. They'd, they'd be like walking around with crutches and a cast on their leg. You know how many sick people I have sent to Dr. Sebi? I got a million views on Google. A million views on Google. When he died, I hit a million. I had 100,000 when he was alive. I went right over 100,000 to like 144,000. And then when he died, the numbers just kept growing and growing. And I was like, man, I don't even, I'm not even happy right now. Like, I, I want to go work with Dr. Sabi, you know. So anyway, um, I took those pictures off Google. Um, because they was also trying to hack me. It was just all these troll robots, Brother Polite. I don't know who it was. It'd be like these weird African scam artist people. And they'd be making these fake Dr. Sebi books. And they use different names. And then they also uh, have all these accounts. And if you say anything about Dr. Sebi, they troll you. So I could understand why this young lady would probably be like very angry. Because we see a lot of trolls every day. And I'm like, I'm not a troll. My page is public. You can see it. I had to make it private because y'all making threats. Like, go get them. Like, why didn't you just say y'all go sit down and talk to this man? Uh, give him a job. Because you're a little kid, mentally. You're not ready to run a Dr. Sebi healing business. You are sick. You wear glasses. You wear fake nails and get your hair fried and laid to the side. You sick. And Dr. Sebi was a crackhead. And your mama looked like a crack baby. And that's okay because she probably got some good cootie cat. She probably does. Maybe not. I don't know, but with a face like that, she can keep it safe. <laughs> you know what I mean? She didn't have 20 kids. How many kids she got? Like three or something? Lord have mercy. How many kids she got? <laughs> Lord, that's that's her on a good day. That's her at the barbershop. Girl, let your hair grow. Stop trying to look like Dr. Sabi, man. That shit crazy. What happened to y'all? If he abused y'all, y'all need to cry and show us the old pictures and tell us that he abused y'all. Or something. I don't know what happened to them. Because they talking about all this trauma and shit. Trying to put out they shit. But they still won't cry on live. Now I can't cry. That's why I'm not crying. I'm making videos. I can't. But these ladies, why they ain't crying? I didn't hear them say they can't cry. Did you get hit in the head and when you was a kid and you can't cry? I know one girl, Lauren Vanderpool, got hit in the head. Ebony Russo, Star Marie... One I sent to do the video to Dr. Sebi that was laying on the bed when they were talking about broccoli. The stripper from Atlanta. The being a, the video girl. I sent her down there. I, you know, I, most dudes would have just like, no, nah, I'm keeping you here with me. She wanted to go to Australia and shit. I was like, if you don't take your black ass to go see Dr. Sebi and ask him these questions, I gave her a whole bunch of questions. And then she said in the video, I hope I answered y'all question. She was talking about me, y'all. Not your followers and subscribers. She didn't even have a whole bunch of subscribers. She went viral after that video. Then the Cardi B thing. Then Cardi B sued Tasha K. That's now, I don't know where Ebony is. She just hiding somewhere. I don't know what the fuck going on. But, uh, yeah. I sent her down there trusting that she would tell Dr. Sabi, yo, this dude cursed me out and made me, like, he was like, yo, take your black ass down there and go see the elder before, you know, he get too old and go away or something happen. So, I, you know, and she was supposed to tell Dr. Sabi, yo, call him and then give him a job. He wrote all these questions for you to promote your business. And he going to come down here and help you make some products and everything. He going he gonna to help the family. That's what she was supposed to tell y'all about me. 
but the, she told me one thing about Dr. Sebi was that they was lying to her and that Dr. Sebi was there and she had to go knock on his door, but she kept asking about him and they kept lying saying that he wasn't there. And then she said after she got to talk with him, she was hanging out with him for like a week or so. Like she was getting her Lisa left eye on. She was taking herbs and all this shit. I got the video clips of her doing it. Taking herbs with Dr. Sabi and everything. She did the herb that go up the nose. Because she had got like hit in the head with some scrap metal or a or bomb or shot in the head. So I understand why she can't cry because she crazy. It's her, she got injuries. Why can't you cry that Dr. Sabi dad? You up here talking about you sad, but you're not crying. I almost forgot what I was trying to show y'all with this right here. You see his red? And you see her red. See that red ring around her head? That's the ring of Saturn and Satan from them fashion designers that designed that and them red shoes because they Nazis. They Nazis, that shit like some weird European stuff. So when you see a lady run around with no hair, with the red magic hats on, that's like the magic hat you pull the bunny rabbit out. That's why I'm pulling the bunny rabbit out, showing y'all these little magic tricks. These are tricks they playing on y'all, selling y'all inferior quality product, overpriced, and then they showing off in the Bentley and all this stuff at Tiffany's and wherever else they go. And I'm like, y'all, that ain't how you do it. You're supposed to be broke for the next 10 years and just help the people and give them the best quality. And then after 10 years, the people are going to continue to support you or we will just invest in you. You say, hey, I ran out of money. We broke. I need the community to help me. And then we will help you. But if you scamming, and you're doing all this for that 10 years, you need to get the fuck out of America because y'all just got here and y'all just starting all these new companies, shutting them down, starting new ones, Victor Bowman. You know, talking about your page got hacked. Yeah, right. I mean, it's possible, but maybe you're just lying, doing magic tricks to us on the internet. Uh, I was a school nurse for a little while, and I remember this time of the year, you know. Uh, okay, so she said she was a school nurse for a little while. Now, she said, I don't know how she got to be a nurse. I don't know. But these are the people around the kids, man. I saw in the Satanist movie that they was going to schools with a lion. I was like, y'all, that's a devil lion. They was probably having sex with that lion. Like, ain't no telling what happened to that lion or what that lion been around. And y'all brought it around the kids. And that lion could have ate one of them dang kids or hurt it. And just been traumatized. You never know what these evil people will do. And why they around the damn kids. I think Satanists should not be in the school system. Because y'all do whatever y'all want to do. Y'all don't believe in no daggone rules. And if you a child of God and you believe in God, God got rules. So, either you with God or you're not. So if you're not with God, you need to get out of America. You don't need no money, nothing from us. You don't need aid. Your country don't need our help. None of that. We don't. We need to end doing business with your country. If y'all gonna come here and scam us, when people are supposed to be trying to get healthy, y'all selling moringa and sea moss. That's garbage. Um, at school, you have different things, little holiday parties that go on, and kids becoming the nurses. I don't think y'all understand that Satanists. Traveling Circus, Moorish World, Mason bullshit with McDonald's that I was explaining and all the interconnectedness of it and how the fake food and all that shit and that Moringa is just one of them damn things in y'all traveling circus like the little magic potions that's supposed to heal you, the snake oil salesman. Like y'all mixing the snake oil bullshit with the good Dr. Savy shit and then y'all getting inferior quality sea moss. I just seen the shit on their page. Nurses office explaining that they have stomach aches, headaches. Make them show y'all a lab test on on a CMOS. Stop playing with these people out here scamming y'all. Talking about they got ninety two minerals. You a scammer, liar. You can't say that. You have to say 
Some CMOS has this money minerals. All CMOS might not have that shit. Y'all lying. And, you know, they didn't want to eat. And um, nobody was really noticing what was going on. But when kids get it, it's a little different. You know, the internet, I think sometimes people don't realize when you're really... Said people was getting sick and they didn't want to eat. Why didn't you have no Dr. Sabi uh, superfood little snacks for them? Y'all didn't have no no little nothing y'all could have gave the kids. You were just letting them be sick. Really, quote unquote, tripping on the internet. You know, you're really opinionated. You don't even realize that you have depression. You talking about you got depression? I know I'm depressed. I'm in the matrix. Now move on from the depression. I come to work for y'all, and y'all make fun of me for being homeless. I'm happy to be homeless. I'm depressed about you being stupid. I don't want to go work for McDonald's. Especially now I heard they Satanist and shit. I'm like, oh man, I didn't see too much now. Watching this damn documentary. I had to turn it off because the Satanist started doing too much shit. I was like, I gotta turn this shit off. I don't want to get brain fucked. Yeah, and, and that's, that's a, you know, that's yeah. you know that you're going through something. And if you know that you, um, that your mental health is not okay right now. Dr. Sebi didn't have no, didn't have shoes. He was sleeping on the floor and stuff with dirt floor underneath the floor. Came to America in a banana boat. You projecting. Y'all came to America to get in a Bentley. Bitch, you better get in a Honda. That's why I got that Acura on today. Getting in a Honda made in America. You getting a Bentley Maybach Benz. Ain't that shit made overseas? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I need to learn more. Okay, I'm definitely not taking advice from a 16 year old. I think this is stuff that y'all should not do publicly. I think this is evil. I don't think this is good. You need to wait till you get. Y'all supposed to do this off camera and then. When she get old enough, then bring her on. And then she could get married. And then y'all her husband might say, I don't want you doing videos no more. Showing off all her legs and shit. I'm not gonna show you all the pictures on videos on her page or her showing off all her body parts and all this stuff. Like young people are doing something I don't understand on the internet, and I believe it's because they're under control of Satanism. You know, you see how the mama's head is wrapped up and she has no hair. And the little girl hair supposed to be actually wrapped up. She got the weave or the straight hair. And I ain't gonna say that she ugly. But your mama? Your mama? You your daddy's son. You your daddy's son and you know it. Like, sit alone sometimes and think about, like, things that you could, like, coloring books. I like coloring books. Coloring, coloring, coloring. I like coloring books, Oh. In elementary school, oh, she don't know how to make uh rockets or nothing. She like coloring books. Do she make her own Wakanda little toys or something? Coloring books, okay. It's okay, crack babies gotta do what they can do. It's okay. Shoot. I'm going to learn about myself and figure myself out before I go back and try to like worry about other things. Do we got any questions on that? You got coloring books on your fingernails, girl. What are you talking about? Were you 16? You acting like you 10. What the fuck? Um, some people saying thank you for sharing your wisdom. Somebody asked you when you're restocking t Moss Joe. <laughs> we, um, actually, somebody mentioned, um, rest in peace. I don't know if you saw this story, but... Dr. Sabi never sold t Moss Jail. Like, for, on the website. I don't know what the fuck they got going on, man. This some crazy shit. And they look like cheap t Moss. The, the White Ranger from the Power Rangers, when I was like a kid, he committed suicide today. So it's like timely, you know, that we're talking, talking about the Yeah, I do remember the White Ranger mm -hmm. uh, from the Power Rangers. You guys, uh, I know I'm pretty old, but yeah, I remember the first one probably. And um, I'm sorry. Okay, so she just said some bullshit. She's trying to 
act like she's an African American. First of all, your daddy might not have no TV. He might not even have one in the house either because he was broke or he was invested in something else or he didn't want y'all to watch TV. So you don't know that the white Power Ranger was not the first Power Ranger, if I'm correct, but he was the first Green Ranger. Actually, he was a bad Power Ranger. He was green. And then he turned good. And then he became the White Power Ranger. She doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. She is lying. She is fake. She can't even just say, I don't, know. I don't really pay that much attention to that stuff. I prayed for him. That shit was crazy. In high school, my homie found that nigga a phone number some kind of way. We called that nigga in fucking school. We was like, yo, Power Rangers, nigga. <laughs> like, that shit was crazy. We prank called him. <laughs> I can tell y'all a real African-American story. Nigga... The white Power Ranger was the coolest next to fucking Zack. The black one that used to be able to dance. Then they replaced him with like a Mexican, Puerto Rican one. Or a Korean or something. But the first the first Power Ranger that was black that could dance was the shit. Now I don't know what the fuck she talking about. She ain't bring up the, we gonna pray for the black Power Ranger. She ain't one of us. She don't know what the fuck. She don't know what the fuck she talking about, man. I'm trying not to curse too much. This shit crazy. But she just be on so much bullshit. I'm like, yo, when I was a kid, I remember when the when there was when the black Power Ranger left, they end up getting like a black girl Power Ranger. And I was like, okay, I was about to turn this shit off, but y'all kept the black people, so we good. I kept watching it. Only watching it because of fucking black character. Tommy came in there, the motherfucking green and that white. Tommy was the coolest Power Ranger next to the black one. Every black person knows that. Fuck them other Power Rangers. But if the, if the real actors, I'm going to pray for them, honestly. That's sad that that shit happened. But, uh, you know, then nobody, you know, the coolest one was the black one and then the, the white guy, that Tommy guy. So I'm not sure what his real name is, but that's actually sad. I think I just hit him up, like, the other day talking about Dr. Sabi. I, I promise y'all, like, like I don't know what the heck happened. I think he was around them Satanists. You know, in Hollywood, Kanye West trying to tell y'all, like, y'all need to, you're supposed to have a friend, and, and you don't want your friend to be a Satanist. Now, if I was your friend, I would keep you safe from them damn Satanists. Y'all need to be careful fucking around out here. I mean, stay in your country. And he committed suicide, so a lot of us who are older know who that is. And it's like every day we see someone, you know, pass away. Or what's the young kid's name? Take off. And it's so I swear, I think she is too old to actually have watched Power Rangers. Only way she would know what Power Rangers it is is probably was if she had kids or she raised the kids or something. She's being fake. This is a, she fake, man. Matter of fact, let me show y'all how black I am. <laughs> That's how you know I'm black, man. People be like, you white, you light skin. No, I just like to take a lot of showers. I wash my hair. Like, every day. I'm not like y'all. They like, yo, you got a jerry curl in your hair. No, I washed it. Y'all, they be like, yo, we don't wash our hair for weeks and months to do dreadlocks and all this Erykah Badu bullshit. I'm like, somebody got you under a spell. You dirty. And your soap probably got pork in it. Anyway, let me show y'all how black I am. It's, it's sad that that man died. I did a movie or a post about this a long time ago. Like about, not a long time ago, about a year ago or two. I watched Power Rangers again. Went back, watched it. Because someone was like, yo, go watch Power Rangers. And go see if they okay. Tell them about some Dr. Sebi herbs. Because they got to be grown now. Right? Now, she could not, she could, you know, how you go to another country and then they get the TV later. Like, they don't get the new show. They get the old show. So, Power Rangers was old. Matter of fact, she, let me do it like this. She's too old to know what Power Rangers is because she's older than me. 
That would make her crazy be watching Power Rangers and really know what the fuck is going on. Then she from Honduras and shit like that, ain't she? So then they they don't they don't even get the new TV shows. So that's what I'm saying. Like she lying. She ain't watch no damn Power Rangers. She not a fan. She she didn't say. At least she didn't try to pour it on y'all and be like, I'm a big Power Ranger fan and I'm gonna. And you know what I mean? Like I actually put on a Power Ranger green Power Ranger suit. Y'all remember I just put on a green Power Ranger suit? Who's the motherfucking green Power Ranger though? The one that just died. Cause he he started off as a bad Power Ranger. He was green. And he they made him to defeat the other Power Rangers. Then he joined them. And he was green for a little while, then he turned white. And I was just like, whatever, you know, I didn't understand why it just wouldn't didn't stay green, but whatever. I was, now growing up, I'm like, that's racist. Y'all should have left that shit green, you know. Could have been a green tiger. It was, but they made it white tiger or some shit, you know. But I went back and watched Power Rangers, like, and I saw this dead. It was like a dead monster, just off in the cut. It, it was just in the scene, like background bullshit, like you know, like the pictures on their wall. It was just you know an effect, and it was it was a it was a monster that looked like the devil and i said yo they put the devil right in power rangers and they didn't even have to it was just like a dead demon that looked like the devil just sitting there and i was like we that was all in our face as we a kid and i didn't realize that somebody that worked with that power ranger damn movie or power rangers was probably a satanist or some shit like that and now he did that's fucked up they supposed to be power rangers you know like it's kind of like you you get all this money to be in Hollywood. You think that they found some healthy magic or something, something to make them healthy and and help them clear their mind and not do nothing crazy, and they end up committing suicide. That's fucked up, man. That you can be around all that money and not be happy. Like, you ain't got no friends y'all could just fly around the world with. You fucking, or the fucking coolest Power Ranger. He actually played Power Rangers, for like, longer than any other Power Ranger. Like, he's the only one that kept the job. And I'm like, what the hell just happened? Like, how did that happen? Like, you being around them Satanist. And, and it's crazy because... I'm going to go back and do a whole video about the Power Rangers in that now. Because y'all don't even remember that in the Power Ranger movie. Got to go watch it all over again now. But maybe you don't. You know. It's funny because I talked to a lot of people who were affected by Takeoff's um, death. And you knew him through his music. And yeah, personally, you knew his family. I've talked to a lot of people who are affected by this. And this time of the year is crazy. So um, I'm very sorry for the love that young man who, who passed away. And I know that this is actually young people. She said she was sorry for their loss. Well, then you need to do better with your powers and your kundalini. You need to save lives if you're out there running around in Hollywood with your herbs and shit. You should have saved the Power Rangers. You should have been hit him up. I hit him up. Why y'all didn't hit him up with some herbs a long time ago? Because you don't know the market here. You don't even know your customers. You know how great it would have been if y'all would have just said, okay, why don't we save the make sure the Power Rangers got some herbs and y'all don't sell this bullshit? And he will be alive today, able to promote the product. And he's the coolest Power Ranger, but he commits suicide because he was around some bullshit. Maybe that Queen of Fool bullshit. I don't know what the fuck he was around. Some people that probably even got some little health stuff. Like, if we go, I might go look and see if he did any videos about his diet. And we can go see what the fuck he was eating. Like we were talking about, like even my daughter's age, 16, I've even had 14 year olds talk about their drinking habits. But your daughter got her legs all out on Instagram and shit, like busting it open and all this shit. And I'm just like, what you talking about? You acting fake, man. Your daughter be smoking and drinking. It's just smoking habits, pill taking, and you're trying to stuff that feeling away. And I think that's the hardest thing when we don't know where to find answers. And we find these other things that we do. They don't help it. We just end up doing it.
you know, and I'm speaking for our community, um, and then we get out of control. What's our community then if y'all making fun of me for being homeless? What is our, what is our, who is our community? You come to my city and then you make fun of me for being homeless. Why don't you go back to your city then? You homeless because you in my city, you supposed to be in your city. I don't care if the house is cheaper here or it's better here. Nah, you go over there. And let's see if your scam bullshit go viral. You using all these celebrities to promote, to promote your bullshit. <laughs> You know, I hate to see young people out of control because it shows up in, you know, they're on the internet and they're, they're showing body parts trying to become famous. Your daughter showing the body. Listen, we about to play this video because she up here talking about people showing body parts and your little 16 year old daughter is out there with her body parts out. What are you, she barely, she a little twig, so, you know, I mean, she showed what she got, but it's just. What these people fake, man? We about to talk about this video. These big old GMO looking oranges. Don't just look GMO. That is not the damn orange that y'all want to get. People that know know that is not a good orange. They're saying things they don't mean. They're robbing. They're killing. They're stealing cars. Saying things they don't mean, and then you say. Y'all created that that rumor that I stole my car. What the fuck? I don't steal cars, bitch. Fucking run a whole car shop. You feel me? These niggas is lame. <laughs> y'all didn't know I could fix cars. That's why I had to show y'all that I could fix them. Y'all can invest in me and, not, and know that I'm not a crackhead. But I'm just homeless. I sleep on the street like Dr. Sabi used to do. Walk around with no shoes. Because I don't like shoes. I have shoes. But I don't like them. Really walk around with no shoes on. So they be saying, damn, you just like Dr. Sebi. And I'm a Sagittarius. But you're talking about people saying things that are mean. But you're the ones putting, your daughter the one putting threats on me and stuff and resharing stuff. Telling people to come and get me. Red pill, blue pill, the one saying nasty potty mouth stuff. I said, pump this box. We don't got to get vulgar and start getting into yo mama this and yo daddy this and yo doctor said he was a crackhead. Ha ha. Yo mama fell in love with a crackhead. Yo, yo, yo daddy is a crackhead. Ha ha. We don't got to do that. Dr. Sebi said that. But I don't got to, I don't, I don't, I think if you get off of this bullshit, you actually could be smarter than some people. But right now you sound stupid. You're looking bad. You're going out bad. And I'm clowning y'all. That girl got, she got coloring books, man. Coloring books on her fingernails. This is all from a form of pain that starts with a form of depression. Hey, uh, how many of you guys are experiencing anxiety? And how are you effectively dealing with it? I'm, I'm really trying to. Who is she, who is she talking about? She, why do y'all keep saying you guys when I thought y'all was talking to the ladies and the mamas and shit? Why do y'all? There's something wrong with y'all. Stop saying you guys. Stop saying that. Ladies, hit the like button. Am I too woke? <laughs> I'm too woke. It's the next level of woke. When you exposing Dr. Sebi kids, like, uh-uh. Gotta go back to your country. Dr. Sebi was cool. You ain't cool. <laughs> Dr. Sebi go and eat him a fish sandwich. That's okay. He told us not to eat it, though. So that's why I had to expose that, because they got they resharing people that's doing what Dr. Sebi told us not to do. And we don't need to be doing the same thing. Let's just get off of that. Let's make, let's do something better. Even better. I can feel where you guys are coming from, because anxiety is like the sister to depression. So it's... Is she talking at me? Is this whole video about how you just... Your daughter blocked me and said nasty stuff. Is this whole video about me or am I just stupid? It's a serious thing. And if you already have health issues, it magnifies itself even bigger. Your health issues from um, depression and anxiety. So, you know, I think this is an important conversation. You making me depressed because I got to go work for McDonald's now. And now I think they Satanist. And I don't know. They need to. Maybe I got to go work for Chick-fil-A. But they need to get vegan chicken, and so then we have to figure that out. 
conversation about what goes on. And for that death today and talking about takeoff and what was the young was the young You know, there's been so many young ones who have Oh, you know what? Chick-fil-A French fries is shit. Chick-fil-A got them French I'm gonna have some better ones than Chick-fil-A though at my restaurant. I forgot Life Wave. I was making fun of Life Wave in this other video. He wouldn't feed his girl uh, french fries, and the kids said they want french fries. Why ain't you just take them to Chick fil A? Go ahead, just go ahead and get the money. That's what the baby want. Let them eat. Shit. <laughs> Don't starve them on camera. Don't do that in your coat. <laughs> And I'm wondering how these young people are feeling. Um, it's, it's a very difficult thing. So in this time of the year, what are we doing to take care of this? I, I want to say, oh, you got some questions? No, I'm just oh. questions that before we have to Okay, so there's some polls here that you guys ask questions, and I'm going to hit those first, and then I'm going to tap. So you foods on the list that will keep you mentally bad. Foods that will keep So she can't hear. She's going deaf. Okay, you're going deaf, baby. Okay. You mentally balanced. Okay, that's a good question. I wish I had a list right Come over there and clean out your ears, girl. Clean them out. Clean your ears out, girl. Here with me. If you guys want to pull up the list, you can go to Stacey's Daughters and go into the grocery list, and then you can download it or look. You know how to promote a little bit, don't you? But I already exposed that food list. Okay, so some of the foods that you can um, eat that, that help with this, first of all... I'm sprouting wild rice right now. Sprouting chickpeas and sprouting wild rice right now. I'm going to go into the tea. Chamomile tea. Oh, she pulled it up for me. Chamomile tea is really necessary for you to think about when you're going through a mood change. Uh, some of the things that um, are important is what you stay away from. correct them so that they could learn and you could learn natural foods are alkaline they lying about what's alkaline and even how to measure it it's supposed to be a hydrogen concentration um unnatural foods will be not alkaline not alkaline forming all that bullshit Unnatural foods will also sometimes have toxins in them. Maybe even pollution from the fertilizer or the pollution that's in the air. Or a virus or whatever is out there in the air. And the chemtrails and all that BS. So, that is the difference between natural foods and unnatural foods. Natural foods have better defense against some of these crap that's in the air and whatever else they spray on it and stuff they're safer the unnatural foods they are going to absorb them toxins and give them right back to you and then there are foods that are just here so you want to know the difference of why we chose that one some people ask me why they put certain nuts and this and that they don't have the highest level of nutritional value that she's talking about different nuts now here go uh her with the daughter and some little whatever they got over here just different stuff and um, cucumbers I don't think are natural or alkaline and pecans are not alkaline Dr. Sebi told us not to eat pecans I love pecans but I just been off of that just got off of it but you Dr. Sebi kid I got you eating the pecan right here there you go Eat the pecan. Dr. Sebi told us not to. And you got green bell pepper again. That's not ripe. Why do y'all buy weed for y'all daughter? Uh, minerals, but not enough to make this list because there are foods that heal and then there are foods that are just here. So you want to know the difference of why we chose that? 
that one. Some people ask me why I don't put certain nuts and this and that. They don't have the highest level of nutritional value that is a constant in food. So your food, your diet, it is imperative to look at first. When you have a mood problem, truly look at what you're eating. So if I had to get in there and say what was mood stabilizing about our list, you got so many here. I'll, I'll, she pulled up the list, so I'm going to just name off a couple that will boost. First of all, oranges on the list. Uh, I talk about oranges a lot, but that was really cool. And if you guys are into oils, bergamot, citrus, that is a mood enhancer as well. That will help you balance out your emotions. Foods high in, you know, I like your... You got to be careful because the oranges I had in jail were trash and weird and GMO. They, I, they look GMO. So they just blindly promoted oranges right there. Dr. Savvy students know, like, y'all got to be careful with this bullshit. B vitamins. So you got a lot of vegetables and fruits on here. It's most of these on here. But you want to find the ones that do that. But when it comes to something quick, fast, and in a hurry, I like vitamin C. I like orange rinds. And I said that earlier. I said it a lot some time ago. Now, is she saying that oranges have vitamin C? Or did she say she liked vitamin C, the, the actual peel? Because that's some two different things. She got to be careful talking like that. But, I mean, I don't. I think she meant the oranges. When we were in L.A., and I was talking to you guys about that. But if I had to choose some more that um, stand out, maybe some of you guys like, you can mention some in this live right now. I certainly like turmeric. Dr. Sebi, Dr. Sebi told us that uh, turmeric is trash, man. Trash. But that's what she like. With God telling us not to eat that. That's what Dr. Sebi saying, that God didn't make that. So fuck what you like. God didn't make that for us. Man made that. You selling slave food. Are you a Satanist? Are you an Eastern star? What are you, girl? Did you join a Greek fraternity in college or something? And yeah, she mentioned berries, and berries is one of the biggest ones, especially strawberries, believe it or not. And I think that's pretty. I, I don't believe it. Since you said that, I don't believe it. Nope. Strawberries, I don't think are natural, especially the ones in America. That stuff is, man, this is trash. Ooh, I actually wanted to make sure I covered a couple of them. So lavender is one of them as well. Lavender is a mood booster. Um, I wrote on here a couple. So we got pomegranate, berries, bananas. So check those out. I like those in teas. So some of you um, wanted to know what kind of teas do I drink. I like chai tea. You know, some people... Tea is garbage. You know what I got on sale today? A bunch of dates. Why she didn't say dates? This shit's sad. Sometimes I don't want to tell y'all which all the good stuff because the price gonna go up and y'all gonna buy it all out the store. Like, how am I beating them so bad? Oh, well, because I sit in the sun, I woke up, drank some spring water, coconut water, dandelion tea, a little bit of gold, had some dates with y'all. You know what else I got? What enhances your mood? There's natural sugar. If you can get natural sugar, that's what fruit is. Water and sugar. Tamarind. Why are they so lame? Are they just trying to scam white people or scam Americans or something? They got tamarind at Whole Foods. Why she didn't tell y'all to get tamarind or dates or something? She's telling y'all some shit they said in the 1970s because she's scamming y'all with the old Dr. Sebi bullshit when Dr. Sebi used to be a scam. Dr. Sebi used to be a scam. He used to be with y'all because he was a mason. And he thought he could heal people with just 
carrots and celery and all that other stupid stuff. But you just won't let it go because you ain't been around him. Oh, it's a coffee, but I'd rather a tea than a coffee because that's a stimulant in a certain way. You don't want that up and down, especially when your nervous system needs to be. She just said chai tea. Chai is garbage. She's garbage. Balance. And, you know, how you get away from this is by focusing routinely on how to eat like this, not just here and there, just putting in these kind of foods. But the food list alone is a new balancer. What was she didn't show y'all. She didn't show y'all how to dag on sprout wild rice. That's what I'm doing right now. She's not showing. She's sitting on her butt talking shit to y'all. She low vibra low vibrational. She's not doing dance moves. It's just y'all gotta see what's going on. Like I'm making a video just like they making a video, sitting on the floor. Making fun of me for being homeless. But I'm sprouting. I'm sprouting wild rice. What's another question? We have um, OCD. Um, that, um, what about OCD? Is that, that about the OCD? Natural, natural chlorophyll. They trying to keep the little Caribbean. They don't. They trying to act like they just American. They supposed to show y'all all that Caribbean, Honduras, tamarinds and shit like that. She talking about strawberry shit you can get at Walmart. Oranges, gel food. Then you think you eat a whole bunch of oranges and take their little garbage products. You think you done did something and changed your life. You just got scammed. Damn, this one got a whole bunch of daggone. Look like maggots in it. Some flies got up in there. Dang. I'm not sure about that. Um, the danger of emotional eating. The dangers of emotional eating during um, sad or um, seasonal affective disorder. I'm eating tamarind with seeds in it. You want fruit with seeds? Natural, non-GMO, all that great stuff is possible. Some foods like hemp is naturally organic. You don't have to even use fertilizer, so they charge you more for organic hemp. When all hemp really can be organic. That's a that's a problem. But uh yeah. The bugs like this tamarind. That's a good sign for the new year. Lets me know that this is real food and that the bugs really liked it. Whatever was messing with it. Disorder is huge. Weight gain is huge as we can see. Over COVID that happened. So how does that happen? First of all, you're not even eating foods, you're eating ultra She likes right after talking about 
eating what you like don't matter. So it sounds very confusing. It's like, well, do you have any science to prove, any test, any lab results to prove that your products are good? Because you started a whole new company that's not the same Dr. Savvy company. But Dr. Sebi told us that we need to stop eating vegetable oil, too. Them twin pillars, they was online, like, drinking olive oil. Like, chugging it like a, like a beer. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Was that like an Illuminati ritual or something? They don't do it all the time no more. They don't really talk about it. But I remember when they did that. Then Dr. Savi said, we don't need to be drinking olive oil. Maybe that's why they stopped. I don't know. So don't drink olive oil thinking that you're going to get superpowers. Because the way that she just worded that shit, a nigga would think, oh, I could just fast and wake up in the morning and drink olive oil like Red Pill and Blue Pill did that time. You know? I told you I was going to expose them. And so, you, you know, you know, people think about, you know, think about fatty acids and things of that nature. It doesn't only come from fish. You don't have to go there. It, it, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm not judging you, but for the person who asked that question, it's not necessary to, you know, I just want to give you some uh, suggestions that I know about. So that's something that maybe you should check into when it comes to, if that's what you're referring to, the omega-3s for, for depression. Uh, did you have anything, any more questions about that? And these questions came from you guys, so I wanted to make sure I answered them before I start going into anything. See how I wrapped that shit? Now we got to look at the part in her head. Anyway, why she didn't have her hair wrapped up in a turban too? It's not spiritual. y'all. I thought y'all was spiritual or something where if y'all going to do a video on the internet, then you just wrap it up. That This don't make sense. Like, go get a Muslim lady. Go get them Muslims from Dubai. Them ladies. And be having a billion dollars in a Lamborghini and walk around with their head wrapped up, everything covered up. Ask them what they think about what I'm talking about. Before the ladies come and beat me up, ladies, I want y'all to go talk to the Muslim ladies about this image. And what they think about that with the fake eyelashes and all that. <laughs> Oh, well, I was going to say, someone mentioned intermittent fasting, or like, what were your thoughts on intermittent fasting for helping with your... Okay, I think I'm almost done with this video, because I don't think she's going to give any good advice about fasting, and she, I don't think she's going to say that she did a fast. Like, that's the trick. Like, they're supposed to be like, oh yeah, we're doing a fast tomorrow. We're doing a fast in six months. Like, I want to do a fast, but I'm not going to do a public fast, because then y'all try to beat me up. Anyway. Your depression or you know, things? Any more questions about that? Uh, and these questions came from you guys, so I wanted to make sure I answered them before I start going into anything. Stay close, but Oh, well, I was going to say, someone mentioned intermittent fasting, or like, what were your thoughts on intermittent fasting? It alleviates the body from all that you're putting in. Hey, I had this consultation the other day, and a guy was telling me that uh, his creatinine level had went way up, and that has to do with the kidneys, and I don't, you know, that's a longer explanation. Consultation means that she's not legally banged. Like, she's not really bound. Like, she didn't say that she cured somebody the other day. I don't know, like, this shit is tricky, man. She said she gave him a consultation, but okay. It's creatinine, creatinine. Did you hear it? Yes. <laughs> so, um, so, she be trying me, guys. No, I was trying to yes, she was trying to me on that last. Trying you. Whoop her ass. Give her a whooping, man. Give her a whooping. Ooh, she need to get a whooping. There you go. I'm going to come over there and be daddy. Shit, I'm gonna have to marry her, even if she look ugly. Goddamn, y'all supposed to be braiding her hair instead of letting her cut it off and get depressed and all that shit. Ladies, go over there and tell her and hook her up with a, with a, one of them hairstyles and, and let her hair grow. <laughs> Put some Dr. Savvy herbs on there and then braid her hair up. 
Stop cutting off your hair, girl. She almost looked cute when she smiled right there, didn't she? She told the truth and she started looking cute and made a real smile. Ain't God good? I said, what the fuck? She, she just told the truth. But then she smiled and then it, she looked cute. I said, oh shit, God is good. The God working, God is just amazing. God working mysterious ways. You look cute on the freeze frame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I might have to go over there with all that. Yeah, she had to whoop that baby. Whoop her then. She's supposed to be helping you make the Dr. Sabi website better. So if I'm telling you to make it better, you ain't supposed to be blocking me and cursing me out and telling people to get me. Putting hits on me. Is that what happened to Dr. Sabi? Huh? Nipsey Hustle? Stop, don't play like that. That shit gets turned into a whole family argument and then somebody end up fucked up. Nigga, straight up. Last lives, I'm living. But anyway, you talk about his creative level, and he gave up me, and his creative level dropped to normal. It was going back to normalize. So, and he started to fast, and he was doing a juice fast, and he wasn't. He was doing fruits, so he was doing a lot of berries, and so he was doing a juice fast with different. So if she was on the real Dr. Sebi stuff, she could have cured that man even faster, without the strawberries and the oranges, without the pineapples, without the green bell peppers. You could even save Queen Afua's baby daddy from doing drugs, but you can't use green bell peppers. It ain't ripe. Your brain is going to tell you, this food is not ready yet. You think you're going to trick God? Y'all trying to trick God. God made your body, but y'all want to do what y'all want to do. I'm trying to show y'all. Sometimes it's fast, but I like fasting all together. And, and, and I know you guys know about my father. He fasted all the time for 40 days. I'm like, yo, that is so awesome. And he, he did 90 days, too. Let's go. Man, I didn't see her whole soul, girl. I know what you scared of. You done said too much, girl. I ain't even gonna play it. You scared of that immigration, girl. You ain't you ain't American. Uh-uh. You supposed to be in Honduras. You ain't getting reparations. Better go help Honduras. Help them people, girl. I said, shit. In real life, I'm a homeless man, but on TV, I play a doctor. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. <laughs> you feel me? Just want y'all to know that. That person supposed to be your nurse. I'm not a doctor. But why can't I expose these people? If you don't got time to do the research and find out if strawberries and whatever other food they got is going on, just investigate them. Don't get in my comments. Don't say mean stuff to me. Just, just go look on their page and look at what they tell you to eat on their food list and go study the history of all those things and wait till you find a patent. You're going to start finding patents on shit. I got to see if they got a patent on Moringa. Because if they do, then they slave master flying around watching us, uh, letting them sell you that slave food. You feel what I'm saying? Because they know you won't get free. She ain't say nothing about amaranth, amaranth sprouts or callaloo sprouts. She ain't say nothing about Kaniwa. She ain't say nothing about sprouting wild rice. She don't know about this stuff. She ain't not no real vegan. She probably is a pescatarian or something. I don't know. Like uh, three days, three to four days a month to just clear out. You know, I didn't even know the truth thing. But when you block somebody, you know, now I know when people are being, you know, ridiculous and goofy. No, you know, you gotta, yeah, she love that button, believe it or not. So for some of y'all, y'all got to get weird. <laughs> she gonna do the block, but when it comes to your emotions during this time of the year, just quickly blocking things. Is it them or is it you? It's, it's you. It's you. It's you. I promise you. It's you. Y'all supposed to give me a job and not be blocking me and putting hits out on me and shit like that. It's you. Tag you it. You know, on, on that situation. So we always got to check in with ourselves. If there's always a reaction, a knee-jerk reaction when something goes on, what are you feeling? Exactly, because this little girl liked the color in her coloring book. So, you know... She didn't have time to, to go ask her cousin and sisters and aunts about the shit I was saying before she put a hit out on me and, and threatened me and all this shit. Tell me i go get him. That shit could turn into some other shit, man. I ain't say nothing. I said, yo, I work for you. You owe me money. 
that's that's all I'm saying. That's I won't, excuse me, but uh, y'all owe me some money. I work for you. I can help you make some more money so that you can pay me, or you can pay me. I don't know what you want to do, but you owe me money. That's what it is. Because then you may need to check in with yourself and think about some of the things that are going on. Going back to life and to to speak for the younger generation, I know a lot of you guys are Okay. They're talking about the white Power Ranger, and now she's talking about color therapy and green. She didn't even remember that the the white Power Ranger used to be green and that he was bad when he first came. I don't know why he was a bad guy. Was he a Satanist from the beginning? I don't know. But the whole the whole issue is that he was a bad character. But his character was green. Like Loki and Avengers. Like Lucifer. Lord have mercy. They fake, man. <laughs> Golly, hold on. Always to remind her, and I, I have one, but she has a couple just to remind her. Anything you can do to change it into a positive will change your mental health. Always grab for the positive. Have Did, wait, wait. Did you just say that instead of blocking people, you can apologize? They didn't apologize to me. He put a hit out on me. Y'all fake. What the fuck? A life that's full of purpose. So my purpose right now, listen, uh, we all go through stuff. Um, there's daily stressors, weekly, monthly, yearly, right? At this time of the year, I try to change things. You guys hear me talking usually about August, and I talk about the winter's coming and some things to do. It's to prepare you so that seasonal depression isn't this far. Um, so what? This is so stupid. Here, I try to change things. You guys hear me talking usually about August, and I talk about the winter's coming. coloring book like you 10 with your fake nails on acting like you're a little innocent kid when you really are her thirst trapping on the internet and you really be smoking and drinking or whatever and you acting fake because you're trying to act like an american citizen so that you don't alert the white people and the customers and you're trying to act like so fake these people are fake man so you're going to say that you got to put money in a jar, but you just didn't curse. What you said was you said I was lying when I was telling the truth. And then you put a hit out on me, which is like a form of a curse. Like you lied, you lied, and then you wished harm on me. You, you directed harm toward me. You put a hit out on me. So your jar of change should be full. And if your jar of change is full, then guess what? I'm coming over there like motherfucking Santa Claus to get your jar of change because I'm fucking homeless. And I need all that goddamn change in there, girl. Stupid, big head, potty mouth. Boo-boo head. You got yellow boo-boo head with your turmeric. You garbage poo poo head girl, potty mouth. To <laughs> that, what can you do by saving these daughters? I just want to end by saying, if you feel you need help beyond this, um, I wanted to go live with a couple of people. Uh, is anybody trying to go live with me? Is there any? Because um, yes, there's a couple of people. Okay, so who do you have? We have love is the verb. Yeah, and we have. Um, oh yeah, that's that's yeah. Yeah, can I get can I get that? watching too much TV cows. So, at this point, it's no longer... Well, I, I don't need this video anymore. They said watching TV can make you depressed. Now, you're talking about a TV star that just killed himself. Watching too much TV. They don't even get their subjects. They just, it just went over their head. I, yeah, I'll play it for you one time. Is there any... Because, um... Yes, there's a couple of people. Okay, so... Is anybody trying to talk to you, girl? Looking like that. 
She said, oh, she don't got a million people. She said, is there anybody that want to talk to me? Please tell me if somebody there. It's funny. Love. We have love is the verb. Yeah. And we have. Um, oh, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah. Can I get can I get that one real quick? So the little girl who like the color in her coloring book is controlling your business and works for it. And that's the devil right there because I got robbed by my mama. And that's why I'm homeless. She stole my house. Then sold my house and didn't tell me. Didn't tell nobody that it's really my house. I really work for the family. Like how this young girl is working. I did that when I was like six. Popping locks. Going through windows. And you want to come to my city. And make fun of me. Your jar should be full then. Now watch. Where the sound go? You know, watching too much TV could also make you depressed. Oh my goodness, it can make you depressed. Did she accept? See how she didn't even catch the subject that, oh, the TV star just died, the Power Ranger that we were just talking about, and he killed himself. TV star just killed himself and TV can make you depressed. And then I show y'all because I actually just watched Power Rangers just to say, what the hell were they showing us? Let me go back and watch it again. Let me see if I should even let my kids watch this. And I said, there go the devil right there. I found it. Now I say the green Power Ranger was evil. I'm like, is he, was he a Satanist? Was he around Satanist? Why did he play the evil Power Ranger that, that turned good? And y'all don't even get, like, that's that's crazy. Like, I make really great content. You guys, let me tell you who that is who's trying to get on with me. You guys, when it's still a lady right there, like, you know, that they crazy, man. I'm not even going to, I don't know this lady, so I'm not making this video about her or their actors or whoever they get. And they approve of, because the little girl with the coloring book just approved of this. While she playing on the phone, blocking me putting hits out on me on the phone acting like they so good and innocent so they can stay in america because you're scared of immigration you don't want to get deported for scamming and selling garbage products to white people that's the worst thing a, a black person could do do not mess with them white people don't be selling them garbage products and lying to them about they got 90 something minerals in your sea moss and shit like that then you're mixing it with moringa they they mason daddies know that that shit got a patent on it or some shit like that they ought to sue you coming here scamming my people and then messing with them white people and they trying to get healthy them are good white people trying to get right the shit done pissed me off <laughs> already told y'all that the green bell pepper ain't even ripe yet. Oh, it's real bad. Yeah. How Dr. Sebi said he did stupid stuff all the time. He didn't even know why he'll do it. Sometimes he can't tell somebody, I don't want to eat your vegan trash. He's just going to eat it and say, oh yeah, it's, it's good, it's okay. Because at least they own the bell pepper. But you don't need no green bell pepper. How was it coming in? It was, um, it was an experience. Yeah. I love Atlanta. Yeah. I was fixing up people when I read it. Mm. We on, we, you in jail? Go ahead and eat the green bell pepper. It's going to make your stomach hurt a little bit. Man. I ain't even seen this video. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. How are you? Got some people waving. I still haven't figured out that waving thing, but Simon told me don't talk about it. Hey, so. <laughs> I rule the world. I made an iPhone. If the family is watching this, I don't think they're going to make it this far. I will help her figure out the wave thing. When you pay me. <laughs> you keep making jokes because my name is The Wave. 
Then I exposed LifeWave, who was hanging out with Victor Bowman, yo brother, nephew, cousin, uncle, some shit like that. I can't do it. Because I, I, I said, okay, I see waiting, so I went back, and she goes, no, that's them just coming on. And you can wave. Like, Don't listen to her. You can wave. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. I automatically wave. Don't listen to her. Dang. Letting you know your the little baby girl about to mess you up. Yo, you can't run a business with a little girl that's doing coloring books. You got to hire me. Pay me. That's what you got to do. <laughs> it's funny. Shout out to some of you that I see in the streets. And y'all wave. I wave back. <laughs> to ask you how you're doing. I'm doing good. Um, thank you for asking. It, here in Atlanta, I think the weather. I'm not going to help them. I can't help her. I'm not going to help you be American. I'm not going to teach you how to be American. I'm not going to do it. You got to pay me. <laughs> what I will do for you is I will take Dr. Savi Herbs live on the air. Now, if I pass out while I'm making this video, or if I just get superpowers and make an even better video, y'all gonna see. <laughs> I ain't even measure it. I'm gonna take a little bit more. Pour one for the homie, Nipsey. Hey, pour one for the Dr. Sabi. One for me. Doing real magic. <laughs> Y'all, they don't even know about Bobby Hemet, I don't think. <laughs> you know, red pill, blue pill, I ain't really explained it to them. They don't they won't they ain't helping them. Y'all need to pay me. This one tastes like chocolate. <laughs> Y'all be scared of these herbs. This this one tastes like chocolate to me. Like it's nothing. Y'all scared to take herbs. Funny. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to end this video. Uh, this is Dr. Sebi Jr. We're going to see, but uh, I can't really play this video. You have to go to her page to really play this one because she's going to talk about stuff that's in the medical profession, and I'm not a medical professional. And I'm honest enough to say, hey, I'm not. I'd rather be homeless and just not play with y'all. Other people out here making scribble, scrabble books and all that great stuff. Selling it to y'all, y'all need to be careful. You know, just be careful. I refuse to do that because I don't want to make products in an unclean environment. Dr. Sebi Herbs are FDA approved facilities. FDA. I'm not telling y'all to risk y'all lives and drink some stuff that's in the, been in the back of somebody's car. And just, you know, God knows. Only God knows. So I'm going to pray for y'all. Happy New Year. I had to destroy a little bit so we can make something new. Because it's just too much crap out here. Y'all are flooding the market with stupidness. Bad information. So I'm not even going to play this video because it's so bad. I'm going to see if there's anything in here I can play. And if not, then we're, just, we're done for today. She said something about vitamin C. And uh, Dr. Sabi, and I'm, I almost don't ever remember him talking good about vitamin C. I, I could be wrong, but I think she's lying. She, I, don't, I don't remember Dr. Sabi ever promoting vitamin C. I, I just think she just lied. Like, she, I, did, I think I just caught her in another scam. She be saying Dr. Sebi did this. Maybe when he first started off, he was scamming and he didn't know. But then he said he had to stop doing that. And he he was doing a lot of wrong things. He probably I think he said he used moringa and garlic and all, a lot of things, turmeric, when he first started. So she has not been around Dr. Sebi in the last days. She doesn't know what the fuck Dr. Sebi was teaching us. This is why we are arguing. Because she's quoting Dr. Sebi. 
and I'm quoting Dr. Sebi, and it sounds like, what the fuck? Like, no, he told us that what you're saying ain't right no more. Like, he apologized to us, and that's why he was welcome here. And we stopped calling him a scam because he stopped doing that shit. <sighs> Family issues. That is the magic word. Family issues. She said something like, excuse me, y'all, I'm having family issues or something. And I was like, yeah, we got to finish this. Y'all need, everybody need therapy. Like, but I know why we're arguing. I'm not stupid. Everybody else don't know why I'm making videos. I know why I'm making these damn videos because I got to and I learned that. We're both quoting Dr. Sabi. But she's doing old Dr. Savy scams. I'm talking about the real Dr. Savy stuff. The new stuff. She don't know about this. She's not talking about the Muikle. You seal or Muikle? You're not talking about that. I don't think you're going to even mention it in this video. I got it right here though. Y'all want to see? I keep showing y'all Dr. Savy herbs right here. Happy New Year. Dr. Savy Herbs. They got their own stuff they selling over there. This Mui Play. It says, uh, increase iron, boost, maintain stamina, cleanse the blood. Dr. Savy didn't say shit about vitamin C on there. He didn't say nothing about that. So she's talking, this is the problem. They need to shut down their business, hire me as a consultant, then we'll start it all over. For 2023, right now is perfect. Best time to do it. And you could tell the public, hey, this guy has been helping us. He's been trying to help for so long. There were so many agents, and he himself is even an agent. But he want to work for us. He's making us get better now. That's how it goes sometimes. Life and God is great. I'm so happy to be here because only humans... And I was watching a Luciferian movie, and I said, this is some bullshit. But I said, they're calling us animals. Animals can't apologize 10 years later. They can, they can do animal shit, but they can't verbalize it. We can write a book and explain why you are wrong. I can make a YouTube video in, in a phone about why you're wrong. Animals can't do that. They can't make the phone. They can't do all that. So we, we're something beyond an animal. I don't like that bullshit about we animals. Because people acting like animals and eating after the animals and living with them and sleeping with them in the house. And they didn't even do that in Egypt. So I'm like, what the fuck? Only slaves do shit like that. Y'all y'all want to be my slave? I'm not trying. I'm going to set y'all free. I don't want to be y'all slave master. I don't want to sell sa slave food. You feel me? Y'all over there just selling garbage in the Matrix. Like, that shit be looking like they got, they went to Walmart and got that food. Because they used to, that's Walmart in Honduras. They go right there sometimes. I was at Dr. Sebi House. I said, take me to the market. They took us to Walmart. I looked at Raw Fruit Goddess like, I feel like knocking somebody out. She probably got scared of me like I was going to hurt her. I'm like, no, nah, somebody else is about to get knocked out, though. Now you, girl, you stay calm. Somebody else I'm about to go get, though. And I knew I was going to have to make all these videos. Godly. That's why I keep walking, you know, walking up to these people, telling them, hey, you're doing wrong. I don't want to even make no more YouTube videos. And they keep talking mean to me, putting hits out on me. Now I got to make a video. Y'all putting hits out on me. This shit is fucked up, man. Certain breads, um, certain cookies, potato chips, because there's no meat in them, right? Not true. Okay, so when you look at those foods, foods that bring down the immune system, foods that cause inflammation, you're going to find some of those foods on there. So be careful about what you call vegan or vegetarian or plant-based, because that definitely has a direct effect on your body. Okay, so... She said something about she got foods that you can find locally or whatever. She's doing average, low, vib 
low vibrational content intentionally. Instead of saying, I'm going to order some food and wait for it, I'm going to go to different markets and just show y'all the best stuff in the world. She's getting stuff that's local. Like, she just she's low vibrational, low energy. So all she can do is go to what's local and just do this garbage video. Oh, man. I'm not even going to go rewind it and show y'all when she said that. You could watch it yourself. That's what she said. Something about she got this food because it's what people can find locally. And you don't need to do that. Show them what they can't get. And then go get the local stuff and sit it right there beside it. Because what I think is you're just going to eat that stuff because you're lazy and you're stupid. And you don't have the good stuff. If you had the good stuff, you would be able to show us the good stuff and shoot a video. But you're low vibrational. You're low energy. You don't have superpowers. You can't stay up for five days and just drive for across a state or something and just go get the other stuff and come back and shoot a video. You're low vibrational. Y'all know I could do that to y'all like that? That's too much power. Wow. That's amazing. Really easy for you guys to understand. These things that I'm showing you here can be found in your neighborhoods. Uh, and I went to quite a few, not everyone in the world, because uh, don't live everywhere, but I wanted to bring up some things here that you can't. She don't have the superfoods that you can get at Whole Foods or at Publix, you know, just, you know, it's, y'all broke, y'all some bums, y'all so lame. This is what I do, I start my day off with some berries, I pop in, um, I got my sea moss and elderberry, if you guys haven't tried my sea moss and elderberry, you need to look at the, the um, berry peel itself, you can see that it's half elderberry, the real elderberry. Nobody cares, but okay. Elderberry and sea moss. I pop two of those and have some tea. Uh, I do sometimes do the purity tea, but I do the elderberry tea a lot and then I'm out the door. Uh, I may carry a piece of fruit with me, but that's just me. I like my sea moss also warmed up um, with cashew milk. You warm it up, put cashew. Cashew is garbage. Dr. Sebi said that's poison. So now you're ruining your cheap ass sea moss with cashews. Milk. I like putting cinnamon in it. I like putting a Cinnamon is poison. Dr. Sevy told us cinnamon is trash. You don't need cinnamon. <sighs> I'm going to see if there's anything else I need to correct in the thing video. She said something. I want to grant one of her wishes, being a grand dragon. I have to grant one wish. God dang it. Her wishes are so silly. She said she wanted to know something. I'm going to explain that one because, Lord. There, and that's a warm drink for me all. So she said maple syrup. We, we got to be careful with the maple syrup. I don't know what's going on with the agave or the maple syrup. You know, I'm using them, but we got to check that stuff. Okay, and I'm pretty sick. Send it to the laboratory, something. And that's good for kids, too. So I like that. Or spelt flakes. Um... Dr. Sebi said he had to stop eating spelt. You do quinoa, amaranth, kaniwa, fonio. They low vibrational. I add my sea moss to that too. My sea moss uh, gel and um, just mix it up like a porridge. So that's, that's my morning. Some people do shots of ginger and elderberry in the morning. I don't, but um, <laughs> quite, a people, quite a few people I know do it. Um, Saima has a question. Okay. She's not available right now. Okay, Simon, so they know that you're okay. So the daughter lost all her wisdom teeth? Four extractions of wisdom teeth? So you're in America getting dental work done? Why you get your wisdom teeth pulled out? Y'all low vibrational. Oh my God. Something wrong with y'all. Why y'all getting your wisdom teeth pulled out? That's what she just said. Okay. And you're doing well because you're um, asking questions. Let's move on. <laughs> we have someone who's purchased a 10-day detox and they were wondering how they should properly take Okay.
the bitters well the bitters have um and, and and that's a good package to start with if you guys have never uh tried any products the 10 day detox is pretty solid let me tell you why she said it's pretty solid now ladies i know y'all say things like pretty y'all don't understand it you don't want pretty solid you just want 100 percent the best in america She's like, this shit pretty pretty good. It's, it's, it's okay. You know, she didn't say it's 100% the best. And then it's her. Like, she might be too ugly to do the marketing. And then the, the, the little girl coloring in coloring books then been eating candy that messed up her wisdom teeth or something. I don't know what's wrong with them. Maybe they grew in wrong. I don't know. I really don't know. But that's what they said. She getting the dental work. It gives you 10 days to plan out how you're going to eat last in the fridge. Um, see much gel. I've held it no longer than two months. It can last longer. It's totally natural. The sterile technique we do for the sea moss gel, it can last up to six months. But why are you holding it? That's always my question. Some people ask. Why are they asking you that question? She says she want to know. I should ask that question. And then I go, yo, you just spent $60. Please eat it. Um, when it comes to sea they fake woke they're not your real supporters they clout chasers they want to say they did something healthy and then they didn't even do it they scammers they bought a book they got a lot of it in bulk or it's the police that's funding you you working for the police and you selling it to them and they got money so they're going to buy a bunch of it and put it in their refrigerator then they're going to go around and beat up people go to the gym you know that's why they're buying it. I don't know why people are doing that she that's all I can answer for her that's her wish she that's what she get you probably working for the police they the ones that got a job and got money to get stuff to stay healthy they gonna take your stuff and they gonna go eat some bacon right after it they don't care the sea moss or elderberry in the refrigerator. Life wave was he did that the light that ain't his name. I'm not gonna even call him Life Wave. He lame as hell. Dude, when it ate that bacon, that girl got him. <laughs> I don't put um preservatives in it um like GMO food like it'll sit on the counter for out uh, for, for months and you say increase your water but that sea moss I have fortified it with the best sea moss that I could find. That's gonna give you energy all day. Don't let these fast talking people from nowhere. I don't know where she's from. That's where I gotta say nowhere. I don't know where you're from really. But you come to America and then you say you got the best sea moss that you could find. I say, great, show me a lab test. Let's see the lab test. I'm sure you should be able to post that on your social media or you're a liar. I saw their sea moss. It's different from Dr. Sebi's sea moss. It ain't even the same sea moss. And the best was what Dr. Sabi had. So what the fuck you got? I mean, what the fuck is this? This some weird, crazy shit, man. Is Nipsey Hussle dead now? This some crazy shit, man. The exchange. So I want to get it down to where it's affordable. You know, our communities are not rich. And um, none of us are, all, you know, all of us are not millionaires in your head. We are, you know, we're a million dollar kind of people eating million. Wait, wait, you said you can't ship herbs overseas because the price is too expensive. Why don't you just lower the price and pay it instead of driving in a Bentley and a Maybach with the, I thought you was a millionaire. Why can't you just say we're going to offer those people in those other countries free shipping and just pay for it instead of going to Tiffany's. Instead of getting the jewelry and showing off with the bags and the Louis Vuitton and all this, why do you come to America and as soon as you get a little bit of change, you just run off with a bunch of Gucci and Louis Vuitton? I get that stuff for free. Like, you know what I mean? Like, y'all go off and show off at Tiffany's and stuff. Why you ain't just, like, not do that <laughs> and say, I'm about to just give away herbs to these people in Haiti or whatever other country? This is because you don't know how to do business. You're a poor soul. You're a scam. You're overcharging because you got garbage product. 
your your advice is bad. You're letting your little kid who don't want to color in color books run your company dang near. She's influencing you and telling you who to t let talk and who to what to do. And everybody laughing like, ha-ha, it's cute. Ain't no man around to, to correct them. They just doing whatever they can. Now, I come over there and start correcting. I'm going to start giving whoopings and everybody getting whoopings, including her. Get a belt and come over there with a belt. And it might be a leather belt. Even though I'm vegan, you're getting a whooping because I can't afford another belt. <laughs> getting whoopings. Look at you. You just said everybody not millionaires and all this stuff. But hold on. Maybe you're right because y'all sitting on the floor when y'all eating. Eating pecans and shit. Pecans is not healthy, man. What the fuck? You see it? <laughs> they sitting on the floor again. Because your daddy used to live on the floor. That's why you're sitting on the floor. But you couldn't have... They said, they said why you ain't sending herbs overseas? They want to they wanna try them. You said the shipping is too expensive. No, you you got your priorities wrong. You wanted to get your red hat, go to Tiffany's. You didn't want to say, I'm going to invest in the people. I'm going to just give them free shipping. If you in this country, boom, free shipping right now. Fuck a Maybach. Fuck a Bentley. I'll... I'll make one. One day. I don't need that. You invested in the wrong thing. Y'all went to Tiffany's and shit. Because they invited y'all there for breakfast. Did they give you free diamonds? Did they give you some free diamonds? I know what I'm saying. Like you just say, okay, show up, take a picture. I leave today with a diamond watch or something. Do you, do you see any diamonds? Oh, they didn't give y'all no diamonds. When y'all went there. But then they were trying to get you to buy some shit. But y'all did a whole photo shoot and all this video, like y'all going to Tiffany's and y'all happy to be in America at the mall. Like little kids. <laughs> it's funny, man. You said ain't, everybody ain't no millionaire. Y'all ain't no millionaire. So what y'all doing in this car then? Y'all just rented that? Or did 